welcome back. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to the number three shit talking podcast yeah. because we've been gone for so long. They've been taken over by Andrew Tate, I guess. The jail, the jail timelines. Yep. Um, um, who else taken over us? Um, Logan Paul. Logan Paul. Yeah. Fucking the impulsive show. Yeah. Um, yeah, but long time no see, guys. Or yeah. long time no hear if you're audio listeners. Yeah. And long time no, I don't know, crumbly audio if you have a fucking Android or something. Yeah. Fucking Samsung bastards. Yeah. Um, <coughs> you probably notice if you are watching, we're at a different location. Yes. Um, because if you haven't been paying attention, you haven't been listening, um, we've been saying it. Yeah, we've been saying it for ages. Yeah. Like, new season, new location. <laughs> yeah, um, Connor's, Connor and his Connor. Co- Connor and his <laughs> Connor's partner, my partner, my girlfriend. That's Connor and his get partner, out. my missus, my wahini, live here. They live yeah, here. Yeah, this is my place. And um, so this is the new studio. Yeah. Um, fuck, it's been a while, hey. So, um, let's get into our recap. But our recap's basically just going to be us talking about our last three weeks, I suppose. Yeah, it's been a big one. Is it three weeks? Four weeks. Two. This, no, I'll be three by the three. time this comes out. Yeah, yeah. three weeks. Yeah. Um, well, I'll go first. You well, maybe I'll go first because mine's probably not as cool Oh, that's why cool I'll do it first. You just go, yeah, my kid chat on me. I'm like, oh, sick. Well, mine's not as cool as yours. Mine's going to be like, <laughs> yeah, had knee surgery. <laughs> yeah. I'm on crutches. Oh, you spoiled it, bro. I'm on crutches. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm on crutches. Had knee surgery last Wednesday. Um, you know the worst thing? They didn't give me much painkillers. They, <laughs> gave, they gave me 10. So, no so, repeats. So it's like you got to be walking around your knee and moving around and shit. Well, like was this in the hospital? Yeah. No. So, no, so, like, oh, so when you got home, then you only had ten. Yeah, they they gave me a script for ten endo. Fire, fuck that. And um, they're like, oh yeah, like by the third day, like we we want you off it. And I was like, that's I was like, fucking. I was like, what? And like, oh, you can just take like you know Cause, Panadol because I can I can walk right now. Like you just saw me then. I'm mm. walking. But I'm, I've got a limp. I can't... Yeah, you don't you know. want to put pressure on it. And I was like, I think I'm going to need... Like, I haven't been taking them. I mainly take them to go to bed. Yeah, yeah. Um, But some days, like, it's so painful. I'm like, I need to take, like, at least two a day. Yeah. And I'm like, ten... Like, I'm down to my last one. You got bomb off water move. Yeah, well, I, I have a cool-ass doctor. I feel like if I just go to him, I'm like, it's really sore. He'll be like, Okay. Okay, it just prescribes cool. you like fucking like heroin. You're like, oh, bro, nice. he prescribed me like some like fucking diabetic thing the other day. What Dixies? <laughs> no, <laughs> you got Dixie. Nah, <laughs> you're on the speed. No, nah, he's like, he's like, yeah, I, I can get you this, but he's like, um, they prioritize like diabetic people, and yeah. I was like, oh, okay, and he's like, yeah, so like, they probably won't give it to you, but I give you a script anyway. I was like, oh, yeah. cool, shit. What was it? Um, I don't even know what it's called. But what was it for like for um some like fat loss thing oh yeah that's dexies that's literally like is it they give it like it's like they give no it's it's like medicaid speed it's something different it's like a needle oh (laughs) heroin (laughs) you're like like, yeah i'm just oh yeah it's meant but like i just inject it yeah 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 it's way easier that way like um fuck what else have i done um (sighs) sweet fuck all nice yeah yeah Let's We're just actually, move on to yours. I've just got Bali, but I've got a lot to talk about about Bali. Just a recap of my adventure. So we'll get into our drinks before saying that because yeah, I'm going to get dry as fuck mouth. Yes, yes. All right. So what we have today is a gin and fizz cocktail edition, the And brand. Yeah. If, that, if you, a long time listeners and watchers would know about this brand. No, we haven't done this, bro. Oh, haven't we? No, because we've done that oh, we just. Oh, we did just. Yeah, they're very, the, the logos are very alike. My bad. <laughs> Long time <laughs> is like, oh, what's your episode? Jared's out here like, what the fuck are you talking about? I've seen all of these. Lemon, simple syrup, soda water. Do I mean, you want to give me a hand with that? There's like a lift tab here. Oh. Is that to like lift it up? I think it's just to carry them. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> you actually give me, just. Cool. All right. Just, yes, get them all out now. All right, cheers, Jacko. Yeah, so um, they like we can zoom in on this from here, I guess. You'll be able to see that. Um, it is, yeah, lemon, simple syrup, soda water, low sugar, gluten free, and gin. Yeah, it's gin. a gin today. We don't usually drink gin on this show. Yeah. We haven't drunk it yet, I don't think. One point three standard drinks. It's a it's a smaller can too, which is. Yeah, yeah, it's oh, a three thirty. Um, glasses to 
Do we oh, yeah, we do. Let me grab some We haven't done boys. this in a while, so we're not fully prepared. So, like, I, like always, bear with us. Um, if you hear the tram in the background, um, there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, okay. Ooh, smells all right. With Jackson saying that, um, I do live right across the road from the tram station. So I guess you can't know in which suburbs I could live in if you try and like, you know, those crazy DDoS, fans. DDoS. <laughs> yeah, dox me. I'm, um, like try, I'm just trying to fucking play like Xbox and it just keeps <laughs> turning off. Um, but yeah, so if we have the door open, you might have the tram. Only when some cunt like walks on the train track. So. But it always happens at the stop because like we're just out of surfers, more clues for my house. Um, <laughs> on like the third floor as well. And like, you know, the fifth one from the elevator. <laughs> um, oh, don't come to my house! Um, but yeah, so people like a lot of drunk cunts would just walk on the road and on get fucked and yeah. die. Yeah, or yeah. well, the, the tram stops pretty fast. It just beats them until they move, and they don't move a lot. All right, shall we um, yeah. give them a crack? Oh, I've already cracked I've yours. Fuck. Them. All right. Well, cheers and give it a sippy. Ooh. Oh, that's that's fucked. Oh, jeez, that just tastes like. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It tastes like I want to spit, though. It's a weird taste. I think that's the, the... It's very lemony. It's an acquired taste. I thought it would be sweeter than this. Yeah. It's very lemony. Because a simple this syrup's like sugar syrup, you know? Yeah. Um, Ooh. Hmm. It's going to be a good skull. We also, I don't know how big these glasses are, so glasses are, so we'll find out. We'll, um, I'll give it a, we'll give it another sip, then. Yeah, yeah. These are smaller cans, so they yeah. might fill up the... We have three thirties the same oh, as a bottle. So Jesus. if we can fit one of these and we can fit a beer bottle in. Well, I can fit a bottle up my ass, so <laughs> <laughs> All right, well let's fucking Just give them give them my um, I'll fill. give my mine a pour first. Yeah, and I'll I'll keep commentary. So um let's see if we can get the fizz on this bad boy. Let's look at the colour real good. The consistency, the vis- viscosity of this drink. Mm, yeah, it looks alright. It looks like ginger ale. Oh yeah, these these glasses are pretty decently sized. Alright, they can hold a whole can. Nice, it looks like a little, like, looks like lemon lemon juice. It looks like a solo. A bit, eh? Like, yeah, like lemon. Yeah. All right, I'm going to do mine now. Well, it's solo. It's solo. <laughs> Connor's pouring. It's got a nice little tilt. Um, this is for audio listeners. If you're watching, you're probably like, I can see this. I feel like we've drank around the same, which is good. It's always an equal race. Yeah. These races are so equal every yeah, time. So so equal, bro. Not not a one side event at all. No, I think it's three two to me. Oh really? I was being yeah. shit. I didn't realize I won any of them. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What was last one? What was the last one? I can have a quick little squeeze. Have a quick geese, boys. Drink ratings. Here we um, go. you guys listening at home? Um, tell us before we get it up. Comment right now. Yeah. Comment if you're not. Yeah, so I've won one. You won the second yeah. one. I won the third. Yeah. Then we had a draw. Yes, cool. Then I won. Then you won. I so won the last one. Sick. Yeah, so the last okay, one cool. was the Waka Changis. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah, mm-hmm. true. Um, fuck. There's our list. Well, should we go a skull and go on for a rating? Yep. Cool. All All right. Right. I guess we can hold the, the mics. Yeah, we'll be fine too. Right. Yeah. Here we go. We're going to do our cheers and um, skull off. Cheers and scout. Right. Oh, mate, these are my home ground of glasses too, and you still beat me. I'm going to start scaling waters Ooh. every day after work to try and like build myself, <laughs> just to know my glasses. Just training. Lucy's just like, Connor, why do you scale every drink you have? You don't have to, and I'm like, no, I need to learn. No, you don't These drink glasses. You don't drink water all day at work, so when you get home, you're like really parched. I'm just learning how to vorticky like out of these glasses. <laughs> no, I get your one and just like serrate the edge of it so it's sharper. It's almost like when you have when you go on my ha ha, I still win. Yeah, it like, like cuts dude. your mouth open so you have more like area. And I'm like, what the fuck? But it, but it pours out more. <laughs> it's just like dribbling. I am um, Joker dribbles. All right, well, so I got the win there. Yeah, but um. Let's rate them. Um, I I thought this would make me like less thirsty, but it's not. It's very, um, very sour. Not as sour as, um, 
like a sour beer, I should say. That's I'm a, I'm a great reviewer right now. Yeah, <laughs> um, it's not as sour as a uh, as a sour warhead as a lemon. <laughs> yeah, but it's not far off. Very sour. You can't really taste much besides the sourness, eh? Yeah, you can't even really taste the gin. No, not really. It's got a little bit of a like a gin. Like can, I can't even taste the soda water. No, it just tastes like like it tastes like diluted lemon juice. I bet it's a soda water. It's just lemon and fucking gin. It's like if you got like like pure lemon juice, like squeeze your own lemons and then put them with a bottle of so- uh, soda water, you get this. It's also five percent, and you cannot taste any of the alcohol in it. No, which is a good sign. Dangerous. Only come in four packs. But um, and it was about, I think it was about sorry, from camera. Um, I think it was about twenty two dollars. Um. Yeah, it's twenty two dollars for a four pack on special. Yeah. So like decently average price yep. for every other seltzer or anything. Yep. Um, yeah. No. Fuck. Um, I don't. I don't think they're terrible. Mm. I'm just gonna bring up our previous rating because sometimes when I go to rate things, I forget what I've previously rated. Yeah, like, like the sliding scale. So like the fireball and apple, like I rated that reasonably high. I mean, yeah, and that was like one of the worst you've ever tasted. Yeah. But um, so this, I, I'm gonna go a five. Yeah, I'm not. I don't like it. Like I'm not. I'm not big on it. I wouldn't buy it again. Yeah. But yeah. um, it's sort of one of those things where I think I said it to you. The orange on our s- chart, I'd probably say is like try it, but don't. I'd try it, yeah. but I would never buy it again. You wouldn't bring it to a sesh. I wouldn't. Say to anyone like, "Oh, don't get it." Yeah, but Whereas oh, you try it. It's that, yeah. it's interesting. Where the red, I would be like, "Don't like yeah. that's fucking awful." Yeah, like it's fucking chili bear, you know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I reckon I'm. I'll go first. Then, I guess. Um. Well, I just said mine. Did you? I said five. Oh, you did. Never mind. Fuck. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I was like, oh, five, dude. I'm like off, man. I've been out for so long. I've been going on holiday. I had my um long service leave from um the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back to our raft, bro. Um, I reckon I'd probably go like a five point five. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. I want to. I want to say it's about the same as the um the truly, the truly like kiwi the, the lime one. The, yeah. Not, the kiwi and lime. The ki- or the truly kiwi. Sorry. The strawberry kiwi we had. Yes. Yeah. Yes, strawberry yeah. kiwi. It was. It was mid, and I think it's the same level of mid as that. <laughs> like I don't hate it. I could drink them, but like, I wouldn't want to have more in the four pack. You know. Yep. Like if you if we didn't drink these recipes and we had them in the fridge, I'll probably drink them over the week just one one at a time. But yeah, yeah, that's about it, eh? Yeah, very mid. Um, meh. Yeah. Well, should we just get on to your um, get on to Bali? Yeah, your Bali. Trip. Um, so I've wrote on I've wrote Bali in big letters and underneath all those things there regard to Bali. Okay. So we can go in any order you want. Oh, let's just um, you just rapid fire go. All right, well, I'll just start with the first. First thing we did, we went fucking quad biking, bro. Oh, fuck Dude, yeah! It was fucking sick. This isn't even a funny story. This is just how cool my life is. Um, yeah, we went quad biking. It was fucking sick, bro. And the whole time I was going there, I was like, bro, how good not having kids? Just vibing with my girlfriend, uh-huh. going quad biking. I'm like, this is sick. And now she's pregnant. Um, just because <laughs> of how masculine I was on that quad bike. When I was holding the back where she was riding, because I'm scared to drive. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, it was sick, man. Like. Um, just went through like the rice paddies, went through like the mud and shit, like mud up to our like fucking I don't know, up to our knees, like okay. on quad bikes. Very sick. Yeah, <clears throat> that was just a cool one to bring up. Um, but the thing about Bali is, you said it was, it's probably a lot like Thailand. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's really like it's really like weird there. Like all the streets are small, crowded yep. as. Um, the money is totally different. Like for them, like I don't know, five dollars Australians, like fucking not life changing, but it means they can shop shop for a day. Yep. You give them like a ten dollar tip. That's a hundred k there, and it's like mm. you know we can sh- you know we don't have to fucking Uber anymore. We were getting Ubers for like we were getting what hour long Ubers, and it was three dollars Australian. That's fucked. Yeah, bro. How fucked That's is fucked. that? Like shit like that, and a full car as well, the aircon on and everything. And it's like oh. and the same. It's weird though because it's also three dollars for a beer at the servo. Like so it's all like holy shit. Like no wonder no one there drinks. It's so expensive for them, but it's so cheap for us. It's fucked how you can get a beer at the servo. Oh yeah, I forget that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, they have like alcohol at the servo. You can buy like bottles of rum and shit like that at the servo too. But well, I was just buying a beer every time I walked into the servo. Well, this is a little off topic. Oh no, but everywhere sells beers. Well, I was about to say. Um, I recently found out apparently in New South Wales, like they sell 
alcohol and like woolies and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's part and of And I was like, worth. why the fuck is that not a thing in Queensland? It's a weird licensing thing. You got to go outside and go into the BWS. Yeah, and it's like, like they're all connected, but they can't be the same shop. Mm. But it's weird because like in New South Wales, I'm pretty sure as well, the ones I've seen, they're connected, but it's still, you still have to like yeah. buy a thing separately. It's yeah, not like they're just part of it. But in New Zealand, right, um, the alcohol is just show, sold in, like, the Woolworths. Yeah. So, like, when yeah, you so have it's a like dairy, America. Yeah, you have your mm. dairy oil, and that's just right there. But we don't have alcohol at servos or anything. No. But, um, yeah, America, like, I guess, or I think maybe I think England's that way as well. I'm not sure. I think it might, maybe it is. But, yeah, Bali, like, or it's Indonesia. It was wild, man, because I was like, oh, they just sell it at the servos. It's so much easier. I didn't go to a bottle shop the whole time I was there. I just go, like, yeah. stop at the corner store, like, their, like, version of 7-Eleven, grab some chips, and, like, grab a fucking two beers to the ride, walk home. Like, um. But I'll get into my um my my not the best story, but the lady boy story. The lady boy story, <laughs> literally lady boy story. <laughs> so, have you heard of Finn's Beach Club? No. It's like everyone talks about being the coolest place in Bali. It's like mad yeah. as, like rich as. It's like where everyone goes. Yeah, That's it's super place. expensive. It's like these are pretty Finny pools. It's like on a cliff face, like oh, all these really pools cool. and shit. Yeah. It and it sounds so cool. And I was like, eh, it kind of seems what we have here. We get there, it's just a big version of Carly Beach. Oh, okay. But very cool, very cool. And like we're just getting in there, getting in the pool, like partying, just chilling. And like we turn around, I was with Daniel and all that group as well. Yep. And we're just like chilling. We turn around, there's like always like really skimply, scantily clad like Indonesian girls dancing by the DJ. And like that's cool. Like that's pretty cool. They're a group. And I was like, as I kept watching them dance, like in between getting drinks and shit, I was like, fuck, they've been up there a while. And they keep coming and talking to random guys. I'm like, oh, they're prostitutes. Yeah. I was like, oh, they're just like, oh, this is what you were talking about to, um, Maz. Yeah, I told Maz yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. And um so like I I end up needing a fucking shit as you do from eating like the food there, like constantly. I was just like, yeah. I need a fat Bali shit. Bali. I, the, the, I didn't have it at that point. Yep. But I did get later. I'll, I'll go into it. It's it's fucked. Yep. But I ended up um yeah, like just going to the toilet. Like I need a shit, told the great guys, I was like, Oh, I'm just gonna take a shit real quick. Like I'll let everyone know, I'll be a while. Because like, if I say I'm gonna take a piss, why don't you piss in the pool, bro? Come on, everyone else is. <laughs> Which is also why Finn's is gross. Because it was cunts in the pool for like two, three hours without moving. Mm-hmm, I'm yeah. like, you're literally just pissing in this pool yeah, you constantly. Have to be. Yeah. Especially if you're downing alcohol. Yeah, legit seeing yeah. the bar just down alcohol, don't you lose your seat? It's like pretty gross. But I don't take a shit. I'm going in there, it's weird hours, I've got no shoes on, like, this is fucking disgusting. Like taking a shit, get my pants down, like got the door shut, just going, going, going. And they had this dunk, dunk, dunk of the door, and I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, I'm not even doing drugs. Like, don't, like, I was like, I'm actually taking a shit. It was giving me, like, clubbing, mo- like, vibes. Yeah. And I was like, I'm taking a shit, leave me alone, leave me alone, I'm not saying anything. And then, again, I'm like, for fuck's sake. And they had, like, bah. I'm like, what? Bah, bah. Like a little kid saying it. And I was like, what the fuck is a child in here? <laughs> And I was like, is it a children allowed to be in this fucking place? Like, it's a family place. They like, had the fucking way. He has goggles and fucking floaties on, like, breathing people's piss. There's, like, there's, like, prostitutes hanging out, and he's just, like, out there, like, doing fucking flips. And he's, like, knocking this door really hard, and he's like, ba, 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 like, crying. And I'm like, what the fuck, Khan? Like, this I'm like, little kid's about to shit himself. I'm like, nah, bro, it's, it's taken, it's taken, it's taken. And he keeps doing it. He's like, crying. He's like, ba, ba. And I'm like, what the fuck? Finish my shit. Wipe my ass. And my ass is, like, it's fucked up. Wipe my ass. So I'm wet still. Like it's just like There's little Spiggly bits of talk paper Going everywhere I literally had to wash my ass In the In the, in the Finn's Beach In the pool And this is <laughs> I'm just letting you guys know Don't go to Finn's now Because you might get a pink eye Or something <laughs> Someone's got a disease um, But I open the door And this little kid Just looks at me He's like this little Asian kid and Just looks at me He's like and then just like for like a full like 30 seconds was like staring at me as I walked out and like would have washed my hands and like all these people looking at this random kid looking at me and I'm like I didn't release this kid or anything like like this is fucking weird <laughs> you're like, like they're the staring at me and they're looking at me this kid and I'm like it's not with me you're the first white kid person he's ever seen yeah he's like what and I like walk out and I went back to the group and I was like oh sorry before that um as I'm walking back like some random like chick comes up to me, he's like, "Ah, you, how you going?" I'm like, "Oh, yeah, I'm good. How are you?" Because all the people here are so friendly, yeah. and like you just get used to talking to the shopkeepers for ages because they're just like they're chatty as, they're cool people, like they're trying to sell you shit, but they don't mind having a good chat at the same time, and they're funny as fuck. Yeah, and like I'm on holiday, I'm chatting to everyone, and I said, "Just chat for a few minutes, just chatting about random shit." And I'm like, I was like, she was in a bathing suit and stuff, and I realized like, oh, she's a prostitute. Yeah. <laughs> I'm some changer. I was like, oh, never mind. She just wants to like, she wants to like literally like, yeah, yeah. And I was You're like, just oh. holding her up. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, I just, I just realized, like, oh, actually, I'm moving back to my friend. So, oh yeah. Take me to your friends and I was like nah nah we're good thanks and she said like, oh you don't want to party don't want to have a good time <laughs> and, and she's like saying all this like fucking weird shit and I was like nah I'm good like it's all good I don't know if she's lady boy but she yeah. wasn't she wasn't the most attractive thing ever yeah bit fun. of a moustache um 
But yeah, I got back to the group and then went to losers. It was so weird. Some random kid was saying Baba. And she said, oh, that's like dad in Chinese. I was like, oh, this kid throws his dad in the toilet for like 10 minutes. And just knock at the door thinking his dad's in there. Dude, and he... I just opened the door. It's this like 25-year-old white guy in a bintang singlet and like a hat. Dude, his dad was with a prostitute for sure. <laughs> his dad for was sure. fucking. His dad was getting His pipe. dad was fucking that prostitute. Was his dad getting pipe? I don't know. Or was he piping? I don't know why that kid was in the toilet by himself looking for his dad. <laughs> he must be like, but dad has been in this one because it's shut. And his dad's like out there looking for him. There's a full search and searching squad out there. I come out with this kid and they're like... Definitely the molested him. This is the bar. <laughs> yeah, like that kid's kid. He didn't never. He never left that toilet. <laughs> um, fuck. That's, <laughs> dude. Dude, is that is that kid what I was in Thailand? Bro, probably, probably. He got molested by a lady boy. I love that so much. <laughs> that's the best story. It's most. It's so fucked up as well. You told us just straight face, like laughing, and I'm like, that's kind of fucked, eh? Hey? Like if your dad's been just watching, going, nah, they're alright. Dude, I'm, 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 I'll throw it to you in a second, but I'm guessing you had like a lot of, uh, you know, buying, like barter stories. Um, fucking, I remember when I was in Thailand, I, uh, me and Josh, we went to this Muay Thai shop. Yes, yeah, sir. And we're like, hey, um, can we get like the Muay Thai hat? And the, like the headband thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's and sick. and he's like, I, I can't remember. Let's just say he's like. A thousand baht. And we're like, oh, nah. Like, we can only do like 200. Yeah. And he's like, a thousand baht. A thousand baht. And we're like, nah. <laughs> can you do like 500? And he's like, 750. 750. Yeah. Anyway, Josh works it all the way down to fucking 250. And he goes, nah, I'm good. <laughs> and I was, I was like, why did you do that? And he's like, oh, because you can do it here. And I was like... <laughs> Yeah, but <laughs> they're like trying to make a sale. And you're also like, oh yeah, I'll do two fifties. Like, do fifty is like, nah, I'm good actually. Like, thanks for giving ten minutes. I feel of your time. bad for throwing Josh under the bus. <laughs> yeah. here, but, but like that was funny. Well, how old was he? Like eight years old or something? We were twelve. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. I guess we were at that age where it was like you little shit. Yeah, yeah. You don't you don't realize you're being a dickhead. I'll t- I'll tell you it's a fun- funny. I'll tell you a funny story though. When I was in Thailand, I got swindled. So. <laughs> But you stole some DVDs to make it even. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm at this store and they're selling like these bags. And um, I'm looking at them. They're like sports bags. Yeah. You, got, you know, Nike, Puma, yeah, yeah. Um, Adidas on them. And I'm like, oh, yeah, these look pretty cool. And then um, they're like, oh, two for, let's say, 400. And I was like, oh, no. Don't really need two. Yeah, what's four hundred worth like Australian you reckon? Like uh two dollars, I think. Oh shit. No, no, no. two hundred baht is four dollars, I think. So like eight baht? Yes, wait, okay. Mate, yeah, four, I, I yeah. can't uh that's probably completely wrong. Yeah, but yeah. But just, just for reference for like the people yeah. at home, like how much it would be. Yeah. yeah. Fucking fuck all. And um about the same. I got everything I bought for eight bar or eight dollars worth Australian. For some reason I don't know why this happened. So Everywhere in Thailand, I went with my dad. But this one day, I remember I was on my own when I bought this stuff. So you get molested, bro. Yeah, legit. Like, I could have legitimately, <laughs> like, got lost. But anyway. You got fucking Maddie McCann I'm, out here. I'm walking past this massage place where Josh and his sister are. And they, and they run out and they're like, Oi, what do you got on your back? And they're like fully selling this, this um, sports bag to me. Like, it's literally like a sports bag like that yeah you know it's got like the handle yeah and um yeah i'm like walking back and they're like they're when they're selling it to me they're putting it on their back like a backpack yeah so i'm walking around with the backpack and they yell out what the fuck are you got on your back <laughs> anyway they come out and they and i'm like oh it's like a cool ass like sports bag and they're like that's like a women's <laughs> it's a women's like handbag bro <laughs> And I was like, I was like, what do you oh, mean? Oh yeah, like one of those like sack ones. <laughs> I was like, I was like, no, what do you mean? And they're like, they're like, well, it's like a woman's bag. And I was yeah. like, no. I was like, look, it's like a backpack. <laughs> and they're like, they're like, once they start showing me, I'm like, fuck. You just put the rest. You're like, oh, that is a handbag. I'm like, and so I say to I Josh's sister, handbag. I'm like, do you want two handbags? Yeah. Because I bought two. <laughs> oh yeah, you motherfucker. <laughs> I love that they're like we can fucking we can fucking so, do this. But like in. for again for them, they just made bank. Yeah, legit. But for me, I spent fuck all. Yeah, you didn't lose anything. Like, <laughs> well, I did. Oh, well, I didn't know. get anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you gave just his sister a good present, I guess. Dude, 
Oh. How <laughs> about you bought two as well? Why do you need two bags, cunt? <laughs> well, this is what I mean. Like, the way that they... <laughs> s- the way that... I think they said it was like... Let's just say 300 baht for one or yeah. 400 for two. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know why. I always fall for that shit. Yeah, yeah. Even when I go to Woolies. It's yeah. like a four pack of fucking um, Monster is like $8 or two four packs is 12 And I'm yeah. like, oh... We'll get two. And yeah, then you Kate, just drink them and double in half Kate, the time. Caitlin's like, why'd you get two? I'm like, oh, it was cheaper that way. Yeah. And she's like, then buying one four pack. And I was like, no, then buying two. Well, it is. <laughs> as long as you ration it. Like, it's the same thing yeah. like buying beers and shit You like space that. it. I mean, yeah. I have one a day. It works out, yeah, it works out cheaper. Cause you got, yeah. if you, but it's like, if you buy two four packs, or like say you buy the whole, oh, it's one for four, you know, one for four fifty or two for five. Mm. You buy two and you drink two in one day. You're still spending more money. Yeah. Because you would have like, you know, not drinking the other one anyway. Yeah. All right. Well, do you have any barter stories? Because yeah, 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 pretty much. Um, so the so pretty much it was like eight dollars for everything because Lucy is fucking insane. At certain points, I was like, "Fuck, babe, these people have got to make a living." But she's like, "Not nah, too much, too much. Not nah, we're good, we're good." And everything I got, like all my shirts and everything, were eight dollars. Yeah. Like, and then we were talking to Daniel about it because I was like, Lucy's really good at barring. Goes down to, like, got me a pair of Ray Bans, fake Ray Bans, eight bucks. Everything's eight bucks. <laughs> and then, like, Daniel was talking about, yeah, look at these cool Oakley's I got. And I was like, yo, sick, not polarized, nothing. He's like, I only paid like $25 for them. And I was like, I didn't say anything at that time. But then the next day, I was like, oh, Lucy, do you want to go help them barter? Like, yeah. and she's like, yo, eight dollars, eight dollars, everything again. We had this one guy, so bro. Eight, what's, what's eight dollars in Bali money? Uh, like, uh, 80,000 80, um, rupee. Dude, it's so, it so weird to think about like 80,000. I'm like, holy fuck, that's so much. Well, that's why I was like, it's 30,000 for a beer. And I was like, unlucky. And it's like, oh, three bucks. I was like, oh, that's all good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I grab two beers things? It's 60,000. You're like, what? That, at first I was like, fuck, that's expensive for dinner. I was like, it's 45,000 for a meal here. What the fuck? And I was like, oh, that's $4.50. Yo, cool. I'll, I'll have two meals. <laughs> but it's ridiculous, bro. There's this little like, little like food. Like, it's, like you said, like, I don't know. They're kind of like Bain, Bain Marie like little yep. restaurants like yep. just grab your food for you and we were like getting meals for like four dollars each yeah, like it's, it's, a, it's a really good fucking food too like yeah. good quality um so yeah b- so she just bartered everything bro she's so good her family's been there so many times like she can barter and like she has family friends there yeah so like we went and got a massage at her family friend's place right and i've been weird about massages because almost like some like fucking povo white boy right i don't get massages i just have sore calves constantly Yep. Like I just deal with it You know Like I, it's, I feel weird Being touched by other people I'm not used to it Like besides like, my girlfriend and stuff Or like the, you know the boys You know Maz, Maz needs to cuddle sometimes Like But, but um in Those cold cold lonely nights um, But I'm getting away from Getting too, I'm getting too into it Getting too horny um, We have this massage At a friend's place And like They were just having a good chat Like she got a massage From her friend We are in the same room I was right beside him I was like Oh yeah cool I'll get the other chick the other chick spoke like No English right and they were just like, oh, yeah, get in your underwear and, you know, lay down there, put, put, like, you know, put the sheet over you to cover you. I'm like, yeah, sweet ass. As we're getting changed, she just walks in, the friend, and just, like, is helping out. And, like, Lucy's, like, titties out. Like, full titties out. And she's like, oh, she's like no, it's okay. It's okay. It doesn't care. And I'm like, that's fucking... <laughs> Lucy, Lucy's like, ah, yeah, okay. She's like, okay. And I'm, like, there in my underwear, like, okay, cool, Yeah, Lucy's cool. like, it's okay for you. Yeah, that's what she was like. She's like, um, I don't even know you. Like, it's not like you're, like, a family friend. She's just a random girl. And she's like, that's okay. And I was like, dude, if that was a guy, I'd be, like, swinging, you know what I mean? Yeah, you'd be yeah. like... Excuse me, man. Because I said to Lucy, I was like, I'm happy to get massages, but not from a guy. That's weird. I was yeah. like, I just can't, like, I just can't see myself being okay with that in the same room. Like, yeah. I just will, I'll be getting angry at this dude touching you. I'll just be not being able to enjoy myself. Um, but we ended up, yeah, getting on massage. I'm there in my underwear. And, like, got this, got this sheet over me. She's just taking it down. This chick's, like, doing my shoulders nicely as. Gets down to my waist, like, down to my waistband. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay. Like, pulls, pulls the sheet back. Pulls my undies right down. Like, past my cheeks. Oh, okay. So, like, they're sitting there like a jock strap, like, under my ass cheeks. My ass is looking super plump, like, pushed up. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, that's weird. Maybe she just need to get him down so she can, like, get... Like, because she went up, like, <laughs> yeah. gladly with, like, elbowed over my ass. And I was like, oh, yeah, probably so she didn't get, like, oil on my underwear. That's yeah. cool. That's cool, as. And then she kept going, like, rubbing my ass cheeks, like, kneading them. Like, like fucking, like... <laughs> Give me a full butt massage. Like, you know, you give me a massage, <laughs> yeah, you just go straight to the ass. I was, I was just about to say, it's what you do 
uh, when you're like trying to finish up with your missus. Yeah, legit. Like trying to trying to convert that to a fuck. Like yeah. trying to trying to convert the um the try. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just, he's, she's just doing that, and I'm like, this is weird. And I was like, she was pulling them out enough that I was like, she can probably see my asshole. Yeah. Like I don't have enough. I don't have a lot of ass to hide it. Yeah. Like. <laughs> and I was like Lucky I had a good trim Because I was going To the speech and shit Beforehand yep. Like not my ass But just everything around I was like it's not, it's not, It wasn't too bushy But it was just like Fuck this is weird man And I look at Lucy And Lucy's got her full towel on Her ass isn't out She's sweet And I'm like What the fuck man This chick's like Fucking playing with my asshole And shit And then like After that She finally goes back to my, Up to my shoulders And I was like Oh cool She's gonna put my underwear Back up No, nah. She just left Bare there. ass out My ass also Because I've been tanning there my, it's just my ass is bright white. And I bright look at Lucy white. again. She's fully covered. I'm just there laying pretty much naked on this table my ass cheeks out. Someone gets a phone call. The fucking the daughter walks in to get the phone. And like there's a whole group of them in there. And I'm just like, my ass is out. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? Like, you probably see my nuts at this point as well because my underwear's hanging down. Like, <laughs> I'm just out here like d- dick and balls looking like like just like a division sign. Like, because my underwear's crushing them. And it's uh, just like this whole, this whole fucking Asian family is watching me. And it gets hell. worse. Oh, here oh we it go. gets worse. Yeah. And then she finally finishes up the message. And she finishes up, and I was like, maybe she just forgot about my ass. Then she flicks my underwear up at the end. And she's like, turn around. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I turn around. And as soon as I turn around, I need, I've been pissed. I've been drinking multiple beers. I drank four beers on the walk there, you know what I mean? Every yeah. place we stopped at, I got another beer. And as soon as she pushes down my belly, I'm like, oh, I need piss. So I ran off, like, to go to the toilet. There's, there's no toilet paper or anything like that. I'm, like, I'm, full, I'm just in my undies, right, with a towel around me, like a sheet. And, like, over the bathroom. It's like, oh my, oh, I better make sure I piss really well. There's no toilet paper here at all. It's just like a drop toilet, pretty much. It's like a little, oh. like, and I'm just like, I've got to piss real good. Like, like, squatting. Like, if I piss anywhere wrong, I don't know how I'm going to wipe it up. Do I use the sheet? Do yeah. I, like, do I use my hand? Like, yeah, you, you know? got to use the sheet to just dab it. <laughs> That's what I was like, fuck, I'm going to have, I was like, what do I do? I was like, I was like, I had to use a fucking sheet. I had to use a sheet. <laughs> And um, I get back. I was like, oh, cool. We can start again now. And like Lucy's like t- topless. So I'm like, oh, she's probably got her full titties out now. But no, the chick's fully covered her and like rubs the like hair on her chest. Like just above her like breastbone. Oh. And I was like, well, that's chill. My girl has got me fully out again. Pulls my like pants down. Has the towel like in my underwear. Like pushing it fully down. Yeah. And I'm like, she touched like, she pretty much touched like the start of my dick. Like the pubic the bone. Yeah. yeah. Like the pubic bone, not on my dick, but just before it. You know, we're yeah. like... We're at David Slip with the boners. She knows her stuff though. She knows where to stop. She goes, yeah. oh, and the uh, cock starts there. Yeah, and she's like, oh, small, small. <laughs> she's like, oh, lots of room. <laughs> and then like, she's full rubbing my chest and shit. I'm like, this is weird. I'm like, this is literally why guys get jerked off. Like, this, yeah. I get it now. And I'm like, this is a weird massage. And she's doing a full massage. That's nice. And then she's just doing my thighs. But like, she pulled my underwear yeah. right up, so I was like, rubbing mm-hmm. curve. And I'm like, okay, she touched my nutsack. When she put my underwear, I was like, oh, the chest my nutsack. And she kept rubbing my thighs enough that, like, I'm like, yeah, she's grazing my balls. Mm. And I'm like, looking at Lucy, like, Lucy's having a nice time of, like, closed eyes, like, chained to her friend. And I'm like, here, like, I'm like getting, I'm about to get tossed off in yeah, front well, of my girlfriend. Yeah, I was about to say, like, she thinks you're there for, like, a good time. Yeah, that's and you're what like, I was no, like. you're like, that's my girlfriend. That's what it was like. I was like, she didn't speak English. Maybe she thought, like, when the other chick was like, oh, look, make sure you look after him. Like, mm. like look after him. And I'm like, going there, like, what the fuck? And then I was like, just like, it finally finished off. And I went to Lucy and I was like, was your massage, like, fine? And then she was like, yeah, it was good. And I was like, is that what massage are like? She's like, yeah. And I'm like, no way. I'm so not cool with this. Yeah. <laughs> and then she didn't realize until I talked about it, like, half an hour later at the room. And I was like, she didn't realize it because she didn't see me at all because she yeah. was like, closed her eyes, enjoying it. And I was like, Bro, I was fighting demons. This chick was trying to finger my ass and shit. Like, <laughs> I was out here. But that was probably the most wild story I reckon from Bali. Yeah, well, like, I was about to say, like... It was full like a rub and tug thing. Like, Dude, she probably was legit trying to get one because, like, what you were saying, like, that's probably how they make their... Like, especially yeah, the massage places. That's yeah. where they would make their good money. Yeah, like, it would be. Because it would be like, oh, it's like $8 for a massage, but it's like, oh, if you want to... 10 bucks if you want to add on, like, a hand job, you know? Yeah. Like... Do you reckon they would fuck? Probably, bro. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. For that, for that price, like, like if you were to be like, yeah, I'll give you twenty dollars Australian, they'd yeah. be like, yes. Yeah, legit. Right. Well, they probably like if they were charging like we, I think we spent forty dollars between or fifty dollars between us, and I got my like, toenails manicured. Lucy got hers done. She got her hair braided. We both got this thing called a, a, a milk bath or cream bath, which isn't as sexy as it sounds. You just just get your hair washed and like your face and neck massage and your hands like massage and shit like that. It's just like a moisturizing thing. Yeah. All that took probably like two and a half hours. Cost between us like fifty bucks. Yeah. It does. So it does. there was like that's like, like they've getting they're probably getting paid like four dollars an hour or something. You know. I think the first time I got a massage ever was like in Thailand. Yeah. And I just 
I like I said to Caitlin recently. They I was are like, so nice though. Like, I was like doing it well. I was like, I need a massage. Like, I was like, yeah, I fucking need one. Like, I'm always so sore, especially in my knees and stuff. I was like, I just need a massage. And I like, I know all chicks do it when you say, oh, I need a massage. They yeah. do like for like a minute. Yeah, and yeah. You're like, this is why I only do it for a minute. Yeah, legit. I was like, you get what you fucking put in. Yeah, you that's know? so true. That's so true. Well, I mean, I'm pretty like, what, the first time I came over to this place when I first started like seeing Lucy, um, she was like, oh, I got to I got a belly all the time. Like, I don't know how to massage. And I was like, every girl's like, oh, I can massage. Yeah. So every guy says it because it's like, hey, get in someone's pants. So like, oh, I'll give you a massage. First, she came to my house. I gave her a nice massage. She was like, yeah. I was like, I'll give you a massage, sweet ass. And we ended up getting it. You know, fucking. Yeah. Like, that's how you work. And just saying to give me one, I was like, Okay, sure. Like, she's yeah. wants some dick. I'm like, I'm happy to oblige. Yeah. And it gives me a fucking insanely good massage. Yeah, like, a does. full, like, 20 minute, like, half an hour, full thing. And at one point, she, like, pinched a nerve in my shoulder and my arm went numb. Oh, really? And I was like, fuck, that's pretty hard. No one's ever rubbed me that hard before, but it felt good. Mm. Until the next day I was at work and I'm like, I've got kind of nerve damage now. <laughs> she, like, pinched something in my shoulder. Love you, Luce. Um, But it was, like, really good. Yeah, fuck. But yeah, so I give her a good massage because she has good massages, but. Um, getting those like game professional ones now I feel bad giving her a massage because I know how shit mine are compared to those yeah, compared and it's just to like them. I'm just like doing I'm just like not satisfying you anymore it's like if you watch your girlfriend get fucked by something like by Johnny Sins or something and then you just try and fuck her afterwards like no nah, I know you're not into this I know I know you're used to better now I just can't do it maybe next time you do a massage towards the end be like pay for extra <laughs> I'm just like were her hands better than me <laughs> were, she, were her hands bigger than mine <laughs> um, well I might fucking I might just move on to the Derail cunt, the bit. cunt punt. So, um, for the month of February, oh man, um, there was legit tw- twelve. Okay, so there was twelve in total. We got we just got some um some Lucy's shot. Have you been on the podcast before, Lucy? You haven't. Do you want to come say hello to the lovelies? <laughs> we're we're filming right now. <laughs> Special Lucy's guest. Coming. Hey, this is Lucy. This, this is, is her house. This is she technically is. our second ever guest. Yeah, yeah. This is Lucy. Not, not Gary. I know she's Asian. It's confusing. <laughs> but close <laughs> enough. But yeah, so the, um, the cunt punt, it's, it's just not really... It's not really... I, Paris, great name, great idea. But the boys aren't really so we don't, saying, saying like that we, word that much. Technically, we do because Connor said it six times yeah, in the I last... Yeah, get rid of it for the opposite reason. <laughs> but... It like, it just, I don't know, before that, it was only going to be four and it was like, oh, four dollars. Yeah, what wow. you do with that? And then it ended up being 12. I know like 12 is a lot, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. But it just, I don't know, it's, to me, it's not working. Mm. It doesn't, doesn't fit. No. And then, but once we, um, we come up with another idea, which I had, a, I did have an idea or something along the lines of like, we both put in like $20 each to start off with. And it was like one week Connor will do a bet and then the next week I will do a bet. And I say once we get up to like 10 weeks of winning, yeah. then we take the money out and we just like we keep our $20 yeah, and we yeah. start again. Yeah. So hopefully we can make a profit. We can do the whole bet, bet with mates thing as well to make it a group. You know, like everything has them now. Uh, yeah, the punters group. Yeah, like the, every, every app has it mm. now as well. So you do one of those. That sort of um, segues me to something. So, yeah. So, that's my idea for our betting, which we'll probably get into that. I mean, I like the idea. So do I, yeah. I love a good bet. Yeah. Um, But, yeah. So, you just sort of um, segued me to something I don't have on my board. I saw an app today. It's called like the Lucra Sports Bet. Okay. And I was like, what's this? And so, it's not an official betting market so it's something that you can do with your mates so it's like hey bro i bet you that Giannis will get more rebounds than Jokic. yeah okay and like you go on to the app and you select nba and then you select the game and then you select like i select Giannis versus Jokic rebounds yeah man. and then you put twenty dollars on i put twenty dollars on and whoever gets the most rebounds gets the money that's sick but yeah. you can do it with anything yeah, so you man. can be like hey bro um, ping pong tournament Oh not ping pong Like uh, <laughs> beer pong tournament Yeah yeah And like everyone put in $20 Everyone gets invited to the bet 
And whoever wins gets the... Yeah, cool. So, pretty much like what we did for trivia night. Yeah. But in a sanctioned event. Yeah. 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 Cool. And um, I was like, dude, that's so cool. Can't get in Australia. I was, like, I was like, fuck. There's licensing laws around that I shit. I was like, though. dude, I was like, that is so sick though. Like, how many times have you had a friendly bet where you're like, hey, bro, 20 bucks bets that... 20 bucks... Dude, remember Jordy and Lucky were doing on every single thing. Yeah, I mean, the man. UFC and shit. Yeah, yeah. Hey, bro, I bet you that John Jones beats blah blah blah, or I I bet you that the Storm beat the Rabbitohs in the grand final. Yeah. And then like you know, there's always people that are like, yeah, fuck, it, I'll I'll bet. But then yeah, you could actually do it. Which yeah, I oh, think cool, I've got the app right now. Twenty bucks on, bro. Yeah, money where the mouth is. <laughs> bro, every week for the skull off. You're just, oh, dude. <laughs> I'm down like a hundred bucks, and I'm like, whoa, this podcast seems real expensive. And you're like, bro, I'm actually like, I quit my job to just work with the podcast. Connor pays me. Yeah, Con- Connor. Yeah, <laughs> Connor pays me. Oh well, no, it wouldn't be that much. Twenty dollars a week. That's not really that much. Yeah, because yeah, you're winning it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck uh, it. Um, but yeah, so, um. Batman. This is, I mean, that just... That was, was that a segue? No, that was not a <laughs> segue. So, Batman. Right. So, I saw this question a while ago. Batman. So... <laughs> not a question, it's a statement. Batman <laughs> with unlimited prep time versus The Flash. Who wins? Mm-hmm. In a race. In a race? Yeah. Oh, I'd say Batman because... Yeah. Set yeah. up booby traps. Yeah, he just like breaks The Flash's legs. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> like, like puts like wet cement down for him. But then there's that, there's that, there's a, and the like what's it called the um, I think it's like Dark Knights or Dark, it's like Metal Knights or something. The story where it's like Batman um in a different universe like steals the Flash's powers and becomes like the Flash of his universe. Okay, so yeah. it's, like the, it's something like that, and it's like anything like that. Like Batman's so far advanced. Like even in any Justice League story, like Batman could take out the Flash in a fight. Yeah. So it's like. All they have to do is like, cool, um, I kidnap his mum and say I'm going to kill her unless I win this race. Like, yep. Well, so Batman with Batman unlimited... everything. Yeah, I was about to say, Batman with unlimited prep time, does he just beat everyone? He could, he, I mean, I'm pretty sure he beat Dr. Manhattan from Watchmen with, with prep time. Yeah. So it's like, that's pretty much God. So I feel like he can do anything. Like he could beat Superman with unlimited prep time. Oh, yeah. Like he's beat Superman before, but then Superman's beat him. It's, it's weird with comic books and shit. It's like... Whoever's writing it decides the power levels anyway. Yeah. It's the same with anime and shit, you know? Yeah. And But I'm a staunch Batman believer that Batman can do anything. Like, he's overpowered as fuck. But what's Superman being overpowered? Batman's overpowered as fuck. I'm, I'm Marvel over DC, but yeah. Batman fucks up Iron Man any day. Like, they're, oh, the, yeah, totally. they're basically the same person, but yeah. like Iron Man doesn't know how to fight. Yeah, it's like super rich. And like, Batman's had mech suits and shit before, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I love Batman. Like, oh, Batman's my favorite. Into, I'm not really that into DC, but yeah, like the main like characters. Yeah. Cool. He's my favorite DC. I like. I don't like Superman because I'm like he's a bit too overpowered. Yeah, but like when you like if you do what like read a good Superman story, mm-hmm. it's more like they give him real world problems and shit to deal with, not just like oh can I punch this guy really hard to kill him. Yeah, and that's what everyone like doesn't you know about Superman thinks because it's like yeah. oh he's overpowered, he's boring, but it's shit's like more thing. It's like. Oh, okay, Superman's going to save these people um, that are, like, stranded in space. He saves them, he goes, goes too close to the sun, then realises he's got radiation poisoning, he's going to die from it. Yep. Like he's overloaded. But he's also way more powerful. Yeah. So he's like, I've got a year to live, but with this year, I can do so much more stuff to save everyone. Yeah. You know, um, a lot of our, like, fans are going to be like, fuck, you guys are nerds. <laughs> yeah, we just do, like, a, talking wait, this about podcast becomes about us with the MCU for 20 minutes. Dude, I, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like... I don't know, it's weird. Like, our whole group likes Marvel and stuff, but I feel like it's not... I yeah. feel like it's become, like, the mainstream thing, but we've always liked it. Like, yeah, from legit. high school and like, shit. It's, it's weird that, like, all the comic book shit is, like, now so in the mainstream. So big, yeah. It would be like if they made a Dragon Ball movie and it got really big and everyone's like, oh, anime's so cool now, you know? Yeah. I Yo, mean, I mean, it's kind of cool now. Actually. They tried to make a Dragon Ball movie. Oh, that was weird, bro. Dragon Ball Evolution, bro. That was... <laughs> that was fucking weird, man. And it was always like, oh... Like you let I saw on it in the movies, bro. Well, you let on for there to be a second one. Where is it? <laughs> it's a, it was the most like cringy thing ever as well. But that's one thing I hate about movies that get made. It's like 
you know, when they get made and they're obviously not well received and it's like, oh, you left on a cliffhanger. Yeah. And I'm, I am I need that. Even though it was shit, I, yeah, need, I need that. This. Did you ever watch Aragon? Yeah. Do that one. Biggest yeah. cliffhanger too. Yep. And you're like, this is never going to happen. Yeah. Fuck yeah. that, man. Oh, I hate that shit, eh? We should, okay. We're super, we got to start GoFundMe and we're just going to, when we get good funding from making money for this podcast, we're just going to remake, or not remake, we're just going to make sequels to these movies. Yeah. Just us. Dude, it's, it's going to be us like, um, Blake on the camera. It's going to be like Pineapple Express where they cre- recreate movies. No, no, no. Is that no. Pineapple <laughs> Express? Pineapple Express. Do you mean Be Kind Rewind or This Is The End? No, Pineapple Express. No, that's when they get stoned and they... Like, yeah, and they talk about like making... Um, no, that's This Is The End. They make, they're talking about making Pineapple Express too. Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry, it's like, yeah. It's, yeah, he's yeah. like, Danny McBride like, yeah. is the bad guy. Dude, oh, I fucking love Danny McBride. It's such a, dude, he's so good. Have you watched Eastbound and Down? Yes. Dude, that's yeah, like dude. the... I, when I watched that, I was like... This is the, so I showed um, Lucy a couple of weeks ago. I showed her um, Trick Thunder. Yeah. Because oh. she saw the memes about like... Yeah. The Robert, G, Robert G. Race. So I'm like, nah, you got to watch it. It's in context. It's yeah. fucking hilarious in context. I need to see that again. Oh. Dude, I'm pretty sure it's on Disney+. Plus. Yeah. Oh, um... I'll go home and watch that. It's so good. Uh, that's your homework, guys. If you haven't seen Jurassic Thunder, watch it. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah. It wouldn't be accepted today, but... No, no. It's such a good movie. It's so fucking good. Like, Robert Dadu is so good in it, too. And so I, um, it's like um, Ben Stiller. Like, I, I never really thought Ben Stiller that funny, besides... He's funny in Zoolander. Meet the Fockers and stuff. He's pretty funny. I just... I didn't... like. I like that whole series, dude. They're okay, but I don't really find him that funny. It's like... The movies I find funny because I feel like Rob De Niro and shit funny, but I I never really found him that funny. Like, but in that he's fucking hilarious. Uh, off the top of my head, top three movies all time. Um, that's hard. Off the top of my head, um, probably I really like American Psycho, Sigma Male, Chad, yep. Alpha memes. Um, I like the first Kingsman movie a lot. It's really good. Yeah, it is really good. Yeah, and I, I guess this is all opinion based. Like, it's not. Yeah, this you, is just mine. Don't you, go off the yeah, comments. You, like, are you fucking? You fucking weird-looking, bald, uh, cancer cunt. <laughs> Thinks he likes American Psycho. Okay, Sigma Chad, you also hate gays. <laughs> they won't forget that very anytime soon. Oh, yeah, dude. I don't t- hate gay people, by the way. That was out of context. Watch the whole episode to see more context. Yeah, well, it got taken down. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't know anyway. <laughs> don't, don't, don't think about All it right, so too much. American Psycho, The Kingsman. Yeah. The Kingsman's... Yeah, okay, yeah. Sorry, the first movie. Not, yep. like, not, not like the, um, the prequel. Yeah. Um, and... I'd probably say Captain America Civil War. Yeah, fuck. That's a really good movie. I um <clears throat> for me, Interstellar is my oh, all, is all really time good. favorite movie, dude. It is really fucking good. Such a, um then uh dude, we always do I don't come prepared. But you yeah. made the question. Yeah. <laughs> so I did the same thing with you where I was like, we're superpowers. And you're like, what do you have? My I have none, I just asked you. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, you guys had three weeks to prepare. <laughs> We've been off for like a month. <laughs> we, and it's we, like, what do you do? Fuck all, really. We just do it on the spot. We do go off the top of our head. I literally yeah. just said off the top of our head. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So Interstellar for me is my all-time number one. Then I would say... <sighs> dun, 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 dun. I honestly oh, can't... Dune. Um, There's Villeneuve. Vill- Vill- I don't know if say his name. Villeneuve. I mean, Vill- one of my favorite movies is Infinity War. Like that's that is really good. That's, that's why I like that's Civil my f- War. I think I like better. Yeah. But Infinity War is like a close second. I feel Infinity War is my favorite Marvel movie. Yeah, it's really fucking. Good. And then, um, then anything with the Rock. <laughs> no rampage. <laughs> that's no Fast um, and Furious Six. <laughs> <laughs> no, on, well, um, Baywatch. Actually, I really like Baywatch. Um, yeah, no. on Jump Street will be up there in comedy wise. I think it's really fucking funny. Yeah, Su- I mean, super bad up it's there. Hard, I feel like if, you, if you ask me a top fa- top three in a category, it'd be way easier. I feel, but yeah. all time is so hard to choose. Yeah. Oh, I guess Dark Knight. Dark Knight. I don't. I'm not really a fan of it. Christopher Nolan, dude. He's Everyone's like, it's the best movie ever created. I watch it, I'm like, I'm fucking no, bored every time I watch Interstellar it. Interstellar is the best. Interstellar is amazing. It's the best. Like, that's Christopher Nolan as well. Like. Yeah. And yeah. that Inception and Tenet as well. Yeah. Oh, dude, Tenet's fucking good. I really like it's Tenet. It's so I confusing, it but it's so good. I watched it twice in the movies. The first time I was confused as fuck. I watched it the second time I was like, oh, I get it a lot You're more like, now. I get it now. Yeah. Yeah. 
Like, because they don't, they don't really, like, I love a lot of, lot of like, time trail moves and shit like that, or moves we have a revelation. They give it, okay, either a flashback or they explain, oh, my God, that was that character. Tina doesn't give a fuck about that. Yeah. They never tell you, like, oh, that guy in the beginning, yeah, that was him too. You know by the little tag on his bag, but you only see that in the very end of the movie. I, um, I don't, I think it's Spielberg that's doing it. It could be Nolan, um, the Oppenheimer movie that's coming what? out. What? Oppenheimer? Up and up. No, that is no, that is Christopher Nolan. No. Yeah, yeah, I'm keen to see that. That looks good. It's Dude, Kelly he, Murphy. Is yeah. he like one of the most underrated? Not. Oh, not no, I reckon no, he's not he's, underrated. Um, he should have a lot more awards. I feel. Is he one of like the best though yeah. of all time? He's in the like Obviously in recent he, years. He's very top because also from a from like, I guess like a filmmaking standpoint as well. He has a lot of practical effects which aren't that common these days because everyone's just a CGI like MCU's all CGI now yeah but like you know in Tenet when they crash that plane through the um yeah they airport, really done that's that. real yeah and they made they like recreated the um nuclear bomb experiment mm. like and that's in the movie they recreated the, the bomb oh there's that's all those right. memes about he's like the cameraman he's like dies and it's like they recreated the, like the experiment <laughs> it's like gets cancer um so who would be the top three Producers all directors. Time. I yeah. Scorsese. Um, I really like, like Francis Ford Coppola. I really like um. Oh, the dude, the fin- the Fincher, dude, Cronenberg. The, the dude that's really out there. Arthur Hitchcock. No. Oh, like recently. Yeah. What's his name? He what's only he has like eight movies. What movies? What are they like? Um. Oh, fuck. Hateful Eight. Oh, Tarantino. Tarantino. Yeah, dude. He's. He's got a, for me, he's up there. Nolan. And then Spielberg makes like Jurassic Park. E.T., bro. He makes all the, he makes like all the good Jaws, classics. Man. Jurassic Park and stuff as well, eh? I think so. Yeah. I, I'm not really a Jurassic Park fan. Fucking MCU. <laughs> <laughs> he just does everything. He Dude. owns it all. Uh, but yeah, um, fuck. Oh. This is, we've gone completely sidetracked. Um, oh, Connor's got an urgent Sorry, message. Sorry, I just got an urgent message. Lisa's like, can you please tell your friend to go home? You're fired. He's not wanted here. <laughs> <laughs> You're fired. Um, all right, well, since we're on the topic of like movies and video games and s- stuff like that, yeah. what fictional character would you like to fight? Oh, this is a fight club. This is like a fight club thing. That yeah. was like, was that a fictional character? No, it was president they talked about. He's like, which president would you fight? And he's like, Abe Lincoln could fucking go. So uh, okay, fictional character we get to fight. Um, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, dude. I, I was about to say I saw a thing. I saw this question got asked to Jimmy Carr. Yeah. And he he's like, um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and then like everyone in the background was like, Oh my God! Like you can't say that. And he's like, Oh no, it gets worse. Whilst he's on the cross, <laughs> and I'm just giving him body <laughs> shots. <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucking good Dude That's what makes him Like one of the fucking Sickest comedians He's insane man I remember like When I first started watching him um, Well he was like He used to do a show Called Distraction If you haven't seen it no. Google it on oh, YouTube have, It's yeah. fucking insane yeah. It's like a It's like a early 2000s Like British game show Yeah And I'm just gonna Veer off topic real quick Yeah that's um, right. And it's like It would be shit Like people like, You know you, you win You know 250,000 pounds Or a brand new car If you get it it's like four people to start with. Every round, one person gets eliminated. Yep. And the first round is just like, oh, cool. When you buzz, you get shocked and shit like that. It's like, oh, fuck. And you got to an answer. And he's like, oh, sorry. The answer's not, ah, oh, fuck. And you miss the question. Oh. And it's just like super fucked up shit. And one was like, they had their mouths held open when they're sitting under a chicken coop. The chickens are shitting and shit. Oh. And they got to answer the questions like in between. Like, oh. like it's like, it's pretty much if you mix Saw with a game show, but before yeah. Saw. Yeah. And then it gets to the last round and it's like, oh, cool. You have your car. You got to answer 10 questions correctly. Um, within like three minutes And it's like Oh and within those three minutes too The other contestants Are going to break this car They get like sleep hammers and shit What the fuck And shit like that Or it's like Oh you have You have a minute to answer these questions If you can't answer them correctly Like your money's in toasters And shit like that It's like So you're losing your prizes And people will literally leave With like 500 bucks And stuff like that <laughs> It's fucking insane You've got to watch Distraction It's fucking insane And Jimmy Carr was the host of it Dude that sounds actually Like awesome It's really funny I'm going to get Lucy to watch it tonight yeah, I want to bring it up um, Back to the question Fictional yeah. fight Yeah um, Boxing fight Like just you know. Oh no UFC Kicks are allowed Takedowns are allowed um, Oh Brendan Fraser from the whale <laughs> <laughs> Dude he'd just sit on you the, if Dude, he, I can't let him get close if, like, he got, but like, if he If he fell on you It's over bro But he can't stand So he just sits in the, He starts in the arena Like on his back And I just start giving him Some mad kicks Oh, but he'd have a lot of fat on him. I don't think I'd be able to get through it. It'd be no. like, like trying to fight a walrus. 
Yeah, you wouldn't even hit his chin. Like if you, you couldn't <laughs> find it. Yeah. I'm trying to choke him out and I can't get and I'm on, on the wrong fold. I'm just like choking out his like. Yeah, dude, he could like legit like just bob his head down and he'd get yeah. out. He'd I'm be, like, like, like trying s- to hammer this on the top and I like pass out from it. He'd, he'd be squirmish. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I'm gonna try and think of an actual answer. You gotta give me mm, And um, then like is it supposed to be like a fair fight? You think it'd be like Yeah, a, like I'm a trying to think of like a realistic, like sort of could be same weight class. Yeah, yeah. Sort of fight. Oh, I'm just taking um whoever Jonah Hill plays in Super Bad, bro. <laughs> just himself. Give me that. Bro. Oh no, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Okay, I, get, I see that. Give well, in j- that case, I'll fight Michael Cera for Super Bad, and we can do a double feature. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the same kind of like. I think it'd be alright actually. Yeah, fight night, bro. Yeah, dude. Uh, because that'd be sick. I I reckon I'd win. Yeah. I can take they, I mean, oh, Michael they, Cera kind of they, they both seem like bitches though in nah, that movie. Nah, but I feel like Michael Cera might pull up those random like that weird dog me shit like that Pete Davidson yeah. shit like that weird skinny boy that might be able to fight. I got that dog. <laughs> <in> <laughs> yeah, he got the answer. He got that dog in him. <laughs> like it'd be like find the crackhead at the train station like that's like six foot four but super skinny. And he's like, nah, he just throws it like a random haymaker and like he's legit. He's, he's legit. Um, like the less tattered version of MGK. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is a tall white boy He's got arms bro He's, he's got, got arms bro He's, got he's just throwing him He's fucking got that dog in him bro And he can do head kicks too Because he's so tall uh, I feel like I'm just stealing All the topics But it looks like You've got nothing else You, oh, do ha- I think you have one more thing To go off Yeah I pretty much got Just uh, to what monkeys Okay yeah Yeah it was another Another Bali thing Went to the monkey forest right Yep And they have like a graveyard Towards the end and like Daniel went the day before and he was like, oh, bro, yeah, I went to the monkey graveyard. There's like, there's like Nazi monkeys and sent a photo of like the... Like this. Oh, yes, you sent me that, yeah. As just a swastika on the um, tombstone. I was like, oh, that's fucking funny as. Yeah. That's actually like lose. And I'm like, it's the, oh, it's the Indonesian or like what's called Buddhist symbol for like peace. Oh, or okay. Or a peace. And I was like, oh, that's actually like funny as though, Nazi monkeys. And I go to the same graveyard. I'm like, oh, I'm going to get a photo too. And as I'm reading up about it, I've taken photos. And it's like, oh, this is a real person graveyard. This oh. is... And there's people there like doing stuff and oh, I'm like taking photos of these no. gravestones and I'm like holy fuck and these people are just watching me do it and I'm like this fucking tourist out here this guaylo tourist taking photos of dead like people's like graves oh, like their ancestors and shit dude. and it got worse turns out their graves because you need to have a ceremonial death like you get like burned at the stake not burned at the stake but you get like <laughs> like you get like hungry pit or something but they put you in this graveyard where you're waiting for that for a few years and they take your body out and like burn it so um, I'm in the I'm in the transition graveyard, like taking photos of these people's like recently dead oh, relatives. No. I deleted all the photos, took a photo of the sign instead that had it on there. And I told Daniel, I was like, Yeah, bro, fucking way to set me up, man. Taking photos of dead bodies. Fuck. I mean he didn't tell you to take photos. No, but he took photos and sent them to me. Oh. He didn't he thought he told me it was a monkey graveyard, not a oh. fucking <laughs> I was about to say, how did you know the monkey was a Nazi? <laughs> I mean, I know you said like it's a yeah. symbolism of peace, but yeah. the monkey's just walking around like this. <laughs> yeah. It's like Hitler's favorite pet. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a full shrine. Um, and all I, all I really else said about Bali, I'll sum it up now that I'm talking about it, um, was on the last day, well, after we got the plane, I was shitting water for like two days yeah. solid. Yep. I just started a new job on Monday. Sunday, Arvo, I was actually shitting liquid. It was disgusting. So I guess I got Bali Bali, I think, for like one day. Oh, that's good then. But, you know, when in Rome, you know. When in Rome. Dude, your first day back, your boss is like, hey, you've gone on tour like nine times today. Yeah, he's like, um, get out. You might have to, it's your first day, you got to talk nine times. I have Bali Bali. He's like, cool. Um, he's like, I did leave not. Your holiday in, leave your holiday in Bali. Not, don't bring it to work, okay? <laughs> leave your attitude He's like, oh, so you brought an illness to work. Cool, get out. Get, <laughs> get out. Um, work from home. Don't forget Peter. That's your fault. So, last episode, I believe you spoke about being a gym creep. Like, not mm. wanting to get caught out. So, I yeah. saw uh, the funniest TikTok the other day. This dude walks past and, like, he, um, like, it's a real video. And uh, she goes, ew, did you just look at my ass? And he's like, honey, I'm gay. Yeah. But I, So, all I was thinking was, this dude was legitimately gay. But if you wanted to, just check out the ass and then be like, Honey, I'm actually gay. I mean, it's a it's a fucking like 
That's a good. That's a perfect excuse. I mean, I really only go to the gym with my girlfriend anyway, yeah. so I probably don't work if I say the whole I'm gay. <laughs> and it'll probably be, it'll end up being like, hey, God, I know your girlfriend, and that's like me just say I'm gay to this girl <laughs> while staring at her ass while my girlfriend comes up and like, and then we wouldn't be filming here anymore because I'll be out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> and then there'll be a fourth location. <laughs> we'll be filming in the alleyway. We're filming in the back of my car. In the like, tram, bro. We could we should film in the car with the thing doing a mukbang video. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just drinking in my car, sat at the front of your in your driveway but yeah so that's how you like for any of you guys any of you yeah, gym any of you, any of you gym creeps there. jared you gym creep any of you gym creeps out there like if you want to stare at some ass stare at the ass and and then if they say are you looking at my ass you go excuse me honey i'm super gay going back to my boy's cock <laughs> <laughs> that was like, my man's got a way better ass than you yeah mm. And then The chick will probably be like Oh shit Sorry Like fuck You're like Faggot looks at me in the gym <laughs> It's like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But then she gets cancelled True True Um Well Um <coughs> I have one last thing Yeah cool I'm, I'm Oh just... actually I've got two things Yeah So Today I saw a thing And I I've never Like I haven't watched it But I saw the TikTok there's this movie about Down syndrome people. Everyone is Down syndrome. <laughs> no, why, why am I laughing? It's no, fucking... everyone is Down syndrome except for one person. Yeah. And he's tr- he's cre- he's treated as the disabled person. He gets what? he gets a, he gets his own toilet. He gets his own car park. Car park. Yeah. And they all look at him like very weirdly. Like I, I saw it went along and it was like he's you know he's trying to find love but everyone looks at him weird because everyone else is like yeah. Down syndrome and he sees like people like cuddling and kissing and embracing and they like shut their windows on him like yeah yeah shut their doors on him and stuff and um you know they because they're Down syndrome they obviously are, they do stuff that is not normal to yeah. us. That sounds really bad. Like they just do Let things. Let the boy cock. <laughs> they just do things like, like they keep tripping because they can't tie their shoelaces properly. Yeah, but so he's like a normal person in this yeah, like Down yeah, syndrome world. Yeah, but he's the weird one he's normal. And they're falling over, and they think this is normal. Like they, you know, they're getting like cut knees and stuff. And he yeah. walks past, like shaking his head. He's like, "Oh my god!" Like, yeah, it's not that hard, sort yeah. of thing. And he's like, "I don't want to help because they'll think I'm a monster." <laughs> and. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, just I didn't look too much into it, but I was really interested. I was like, that that's a good idea. That seems interesting. Yeah. Is it just going to end with the bro just fucking a Down syndrome girl? That, well, that's what that's I was thinking. But then I was thinking like maybe because like his parents are disabled. Oh, I guess he was just born. Yeah, yeah. Okay. and but like the story goes, it's like he was born. Like they've done test studies on him from when yeah. he was a kid. He was just <laughs> born with <laughs> one less. Do- con- the Down syndrome doctor is like, mm, yes, he's a boy. Like, oh, thanks yeah. um. <laughs> But like He was born with One less chromosome So oh, that's yeah. why They're studying him Yeah yeah And um, I was like Dude this is Really interesting Like I would love that's To watch it That's a really good it. idea I would love to watch This movie Party in the Rocks Movie night yeah. Watching party Dude yeah What what do they call it A um yeah, I guess, I guess I'll watch. Yes, party. do a commentary on it. Watch party. No, what do they call it? We just don't get an episode next week. It's just us watching a video and we just talk over it. What, the whole what time. the fuck do they call it? Because I, I um, I watch YouTube. Uh, watch people that do a podcast. They like a review. Or they do one. No, like a live event while watching. Yeah, it's a watching the party. footy. No, but they call it something else. A viewing party. No. But yeah, I guess it's a watch party. Yeah. And we just. Do you you know another thing that I found out recently? This is. ADHD. <laughs> no, no, it's it's pretty it's on the same topic. Um, Disney Plus, you can like send a link to someone and like start a watch party. Yeah, I've yeah. Seen that. How it's cool really is cool. that? Because I remember there used to be times where I was on Xbox and it was starting to get like a bit too late, and I was like a bit bored of games, so I was like starting to watch Netflix and like. Max and Mitchy would be on as well and they were like not playing anything as well. Yeah, yeah. And then it was like, oh, boys, do you want to watch a movie? And we'd all started at the same time. That's sick, yeah. But like, if they had that feature back then, you know, could have yeah, yeah. all just watched the same movie. Because once you pause it, it pauses it for everyone. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, there was countless nights where like, 
people fell asleep on the mic. Like Jaden fell asleep on yeah. the mic. <laughs> <laughs> and like we're watching this scary movie and Jaden falls asleep on the mic and all you can hear is <laughs> 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 while me and Mitchie are going like, dude, like this movie's like pretty fucking like what the fuck's it's going pretty, on? Pretty hectic right yeah. now. And Jaden's like <laughs> And I swear there was sometimes like one of the boys they must have forgot their mic was on. It sounded like they were having a wank. Yeah. Oh uh, I, I think I think I did that back in the day one time. <laughs> That might be me. But I was always like, all right, boys, I'm AFK. It's like 5.30 in the afternoon. Then it's not that time. You know it. Have you ever got head while playing? No, no. I, um... What about sex? Nah. Because I have. Not, not on the, nah, I wish. I wish, man. Like, I've talked to Lucy about it. Like, I was like, ooh, like, head on playing games. But I don't play games that often anymore. And when I did play games when I had other girlfriends, it was usually when I was at my own house. Yeah. Like, uh, this is the first time you'd live with a girl and, like, play being able to play Xbox and stuff, yep. you know. But, um... Wait till you have kids, bro. Fuck, man. They want to play. They look at the console. I'm like, oh, this is me time. No, like, when they're babies, it's like you don't get much time to yeah, play. Yeah, they can't even play a player two either. <laughs> you don't know, but you just don't get much time to play. Can't you just have the baby in your chest with a bottle when you're, like, fucking playing? No, you, ha- you have to be, like... Because they just spit it up or they vomit Oh, yeah, shit. true. Um, like, waterboarding with the fucking bottle. Dude, not that long ago... Max and I were playing um, Warzone, and then like Caitlin starts like fucking rubbing my cock, and I'm like, oh okay, all right, like, all and right, and then go. and then she's like, she's like, what the fuck, <laughs> like mouthing like you want to fuck, and I was like, I mean, right. and she's like, you sure you're gonna be able to see, and I was like, I mean, yeah, dude, that's a new fucking baller. But like she gets on top, and then like Max really jumps out the plane. I end up like jumping way late. I'm <laughs> like, oh sorry, bro, I jumped late. Yeah. And I was like, I'll meet up with you. And then I like die within like two minutes. Yeah. And I was like, oh, bro, just going to mute my mic real quick. <laughs> Legit. I was like, fuck. And then, yeah. But. Nah, it's so good. That was fun. Fuck, that's sick. Yeah. Caitlin like, watches this one episode of the podcast. She's like, motherfucker. She's like, why are you telling everyone our life? Yeah. <laughs> just like half the podcast is just you talking about how much you hate her. Like <laughs> fighting. It's like, oh, she was okay this time. Eh? <laughs> so now she watches this. She's going to watch all of them. We get more views. Yeah. Hey, yeah. there we go. Check mate. Um, so this is my last topic before we get into our sports segment. Don't click off. Yeah, legit. I Don't was, I was gonna. I didn't want to say it in case like. Don't click off the analytics because we got some big news coming. Sports is gonna be fucking funny. Um. So. I've saw I saw this debate recently. You go to the pub. Say so it's four, you, you and three other mates. You all you all got your own way there. And you're sitting at the table and um, let's just say you go, oh, my round. Like you guys are going rounds, yeah, right? Yeah, And you go, my round, what do you guys want? And old mate fucking goes, yeah, I'll have a fucking, you know, I'll have a 4X, 4X, 4X. I'll have a fucking uh, Coke. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. driving. Yeah. You know, like I don't really want to drink. Anyway, it gets to the point, gets to his turn, and he goes, "Oh no, 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 I'm, I'm not drinking, I'm not in this." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, is that is that wrong of him? I feel like if the bro is offering a ride home, no, but if he's then driving you, he should be paying for his own round or doing a okay, round. Okay, so you know? so if he's the dezo, yeah, then it's fair to shout the guy. Fair, yeah. okay. But if it's like you're just in that case, you're just buying him drinks. It's like. Oh, when I drive myself to the shops, are you going to shout me food? Like, all right. Well, you know let, let's I mean? just like, let's just say he's not. Yeah, he didn't drive. And that's dog. If you're buying him around and he's not like buying you one bad, that's dog. Yeah, it's the same as like even if, or it's like, hey, like everyone's doing rounds and shit, and it gets to your round no matter no matter what. If you've been getting shit from other people and yeah. it's your round, it's your round. Yeah, because unless I, you say on the first round, oh, actually, I'm having coke balls. I'll just get my own. Yeah, that's fine to miss it yeah. out. But if you're doing the same drinks. Or if you go, oh, actually, boys, I only drink cocktails. I'm not going to jump on the beers because I mine cost more. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's like that's fine, but yeah, well, because I saw this debate recently. You can't miss around. That's dogging the boys. And I was like, I also missed around one time. Left on his round. That and, see that like, that's, that's dog. not on. Me and Blair were not fucking happy. That's not on, dude. I was like, oh, sorry, boys. Actually, got to go. And we're like, what? Is Blair your as round? in um, Cooper Blair or Jack Blair? Jack Blair. Oh. Yeah, Blair Graves. Yeah, dude. Yeah, see, yeah, I saw this debate recently and I was like, that's, um, yeah, that's really unfair. Yeah, why would you get free shit just because you don't drink? 
Like, yeah. at least you're driving. If it did or something like that, totally. Or like you drove the boys there. Yeah. I'd shout definitely. But yeah. it's like, oh, sorry, you don't drink, so you get free shit. Like, this still like it still costs like four dollars for a beer. Yeah. But then again, um, we've been out. Like, I think it was. One of the one of like it was like Lucy or one of her mate's birthdays. Like I think it was Caden's birthday. We went out and like went to this club, and my mate Jake said, "You know, remember Jake Spencer?" Yep. Yeah, he hasn't drink right, but I was like, "Oh, cool! I'll go to the club and I'll get you a drink." He's like, "Oh, thanks so much." I got him an orange juice and got him a coke and stuff. And he's like, "Oh, thanks so much." Like, oh, do you want me to get you a beer or something? I was like, "No, nah, man, they're free at the clubs." Like I just say, "Can I have a mixer and it's free?" Because oh, usually they're for Dezo. I'm like, oh, my mate's Dezo, and they give you a free mixer. Oh, I like, oh yeah, that. my mate, he plays entry, but he's a Dezo, and they're like, "Oh, cool! They give you a free like bedroom." I think does it. Um, I think it was it used to be shooters, um, cocktails. Cocktails does it. They're all pretty good. If you say, "Hey, I've got my Dezo friend. Can you just have a mixer?" Could cost him like eight eighty cents or something like that, and it yep. keeps you in the club, you know. So like, and he was really happy, and he was like offering to buy me. She was like, "No, nah, it's all good, man. Like, it's literally free here." But in a bar, if that was going on, you're like doing rounds. Mm. That's dog. If you're paying for their shit, yeah, and they're not offering to pay you back, or at least be like, "Oh, well, I'll, I'll send you the money for these." Like, yeah, it's just yeah, well, ain't cool. So like the debate, dude. The dude goes. He's like, nah, like, even if he's not the designated driver, you should still buy him a drink because, you know, it's his choice. Like, he doesn't want to drink. And it's like, what? That makes yeah, but no He doesn't want to buy you a drink back. It's <laughs> like saying, like, if I knew one of the boys never did rounds, I'd be like, I'm not going to buy you one in the round. Yeah. Well, this so, yeah, dude's... I don't, I don't have to do rounds with people as I know them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, this dude's debate as well. He's like, yeah, but you're going to drink eight schooners. I'm not going to drink eight fucking cokes but you're still like yeah it's like but you still got bought for two rounds you still got you still got at least one schooner you know yeah like, at least buy everyone a drink like I don't know it's fucking yeah or even just say oh I don't drink man I'm all good I'll just grow a glass of water like I'll just buy my I mean I feel like the simple thing would be oh, I bu- I'm buying my own drink because yeah, the coke yeah. it's one of those pr- things where it's like it's like if you get an Uber, it's like it gets to a certain price point where you're like, oh, I won't ask the money. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, if it's a seven dollar Uber and there's four of you, don't bother splitting it. Yeah. But when it's like twenty bucks, like, oh, we'll just split it. It's easy enough. Yeah. It's one of those things. It's like, oh, if it's one glass of Coke, you're like, yeah, it's like three bucks. Who cares? Yeah. But it's a whole night of round shouts. Yeah. And you're like, oh, well, we've all spent like, like you know, like ten bucks each on you, bro. Like, yeah. Can you just buy us a schooner. Yeah, because that, well, that's a that's yeah. I uh, I think the simple thing is. Just buy your own drinks and yeah. let the boys, like, let the drinkers be in the shouts. Yeah, legit. It just works out better because you're all keeping the same pace. Like, yeah. you don't really keep the same pace when you're drinking non-alcoholic drinks. Yeah. Like, well, uh, you're never in a rush to drink your Pepsi Max, you know. Well, another thing too is like a Pepsi Max might co- cost four bucks where a schooner might cost eight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some places they're cheaper, but yeah. Yeah, legit. You're, it's never going to be like the same shout. Like, it's, it's the same with anything though. Like, if you go to like, oh, what, we'll do a round and someone's like, oh, can I get a, you know... Like vodka and crap, vodka and crap, vodka and crap. And one come goes, can I get a Long Island iced tea? You're like, oh. You're like, bro, that's $18. Well, yeah, for the, for the sake of the shout, can we kind of keep it within a dollar? Yeah. Like, even at that point, it's like, oh, can I get a pint of EV? Yeah, and one come goes, can I get the um, Canadian club? Thanks. And yeah. you're like, oh, it's, it's like $2 more, but that's still within reason. Yeah. Like, it's still like a shout. I'll just get a Canadian club when you get one next. Yep. You know, it's like, it will work out. Yeah. But then it's like, yeah. Oh, yeah, I only got two cokes so i just don't really have to buy you all beers yeah. do i and it's like oh we well, kind of still got f- money out of all of us yeah for nothing so give us our money back or drive us home yeah all right well let's just move on to the final segment the sport the sports show you've just flipped over to the back page of the paper this is the sport the sports show yeah the sports segment yeah. Seggy? up your car munches. see i saved it by saying something racist and said oh, i mean going off that Curry munches. Um, Australia beat India in the third test. Dude, they're paying four dollars seventy for a win too. Cheeky. Yeah. Um, if Australia go on to win the next two tests, that would be the greatest thing. Because, dude, like India, um, those pitches over there are so bad. Oh, dude, it's like that's that's why I think it was so good about them doing it as well. Like, no one's been to win that shit. Like, even a draw was like out of the question. You know? Yeah. It was like India had it easy, but fucking hell, like. They can play some fucking ball. Well, well, I think at one point they were like five for 58. Yeah. Or 58 yeah. for five. And I was like, oh, fuck, India is shit. Yeah. Uh, in their own country? Like, yeah, legit. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, and New Zealand had a fucking good win over England too. Yeah, yeah. It's Which, been I good, th- it's been good for win? Australasia. Did yeah. They win? Yeah, they won, yeah. That was a good test. Because a lot of people, they saw how much England put up. Yeah. And then I think they declared, and yeah, then, it was like and they're not going to be able to chase it. Yeah. And New Zealand chased it back easily. Yeah, 
And then England went out and I think they were like, oh, okay, well, fuck. And then I think they'd sort of done the same thing. And yeah. then New Zealand won and it was like, yeah. oh, that was a really good game well, of cricket. What's the thing? It's like when you get, when you over like, issue, like be overconfident, you're like, we'll just declare. And it's like, well, you could have played to a draw. Yeah, like easily, yeah. but instead, like you got overconfident, they'll never chase us, and then your bowlers didn't do shit, and yeah. you end up losing the game. Well, it's funny. There's a problem about going first as well. Well, that's the thing in cricket, though, is um, declaring. I don't think it means you're overconfident, because, like, what well, means you like you're comfortable? Like in the second inning, they could have been. Oh, not second inning, but you know the second. Well, it is inning, well, isn't it? Well, no, because the team going first, if you can get to like three fifty and declare, yeah. You'd rather do that because it's it's a better chance of a draw. Well, that's what I mean. Like if they like it would draw anyway in the second inning after they got chased. Like if they just kept playing, and didn't declare, it would have draw, it would have been a draw easily. No, but I'm saying if so if so if England didn't declare and they got the five hundred, yeah, New Zealand might have got out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like they they and. Because New Zealand would have been chasing it, might have taken them two days to chase. Yeah, true. I guess it, yeah. The, so it, yeah, they could have just played real safe, and it would have yeah. been. Yeah, and once yeah. it gets to the five days and it ends, it's a draw yeah, anyway. Yeah. So you may as well declare, and then let them chase, try to get them out, and then put up a big score again. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a hard one. Test cricket is weird. T mm. twenty is like. My favourite. It's short, sweet. Helps the ADHD. Yeah. Like well, a whole day of cricket can't do it. See, I like the big bash, but I do like the traditional cricket better. Like, I, lo- I love the big bash, but it's like it's good to watch with the boys and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But like the traditional cricket, I like to flick it on, have a look, watch it for about 20 minutes. Swap back minutes. over the footy or something. Swap like. it, yeah, swap it over to something else, like the fucking Disney Channel. <laughs> and then, what, what like, can- not for the kids, for me. Reruns of fucking Selena Gomez on Wizard of Waverly Place. Yeah. Nice, nice. Um, Dece, Dece. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, saw, I see that you've got Paul up there. Um, obviously, I think that's... Yeah, Paul Walker. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> like Chris Paul, you know. Oh. No, nah, it's not. It's, it's, it's um, our boy Jake. 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 Um, humbled. Humbled. Good. Humbled, yeah. Good. It'll probably, put, probably make him try a lot harder now. Yeah, like he's gonna really want to prove himself against someone that isn't now and is a boxer now because it's like this did prove the whole like yeah you can fight um, celebrities that aren't boxers that are also retired yep. and smash them but then as you find a natural up and coming boxer that's not actually that really yeah that he's good. not good he's not that he's good he's not good he's just a boxer that's the thing though yeah. finding an actual boxer had form and like a reason to win not just a reason to show up yeah like the double or nothing may have been the coffin nail right yeah. Well, the like, thing is, have you, so have you seen that? The double so, thing. So Jake offered them a contract, now face to face, and Tommy basically, or Tommy and his dad were like, yeah, "We will John. sign. We will sign this. I'll make sure my son signs this." Yeah. They shook hands. Jake signed it on the spot. Yeah. Tommy didn't want to. He's like, "I'll get my lawyers to look at it. I'm not signing anything until blah blah blah." Yeah. And Jake goes, oh, I'll be keeping up to date on my social media. Trust me, if you don't sign this, everyone will know. Yeah. Anyway, they didn't sign it. Oh, true. I thought, I thought it was yeah, true. Didn't, right. didn't sign it. Someone asks um, Big John after the fight and he goes, we're here to talk about boxing, not about a fucking silly contract. Like yeah. talking like that. Yeah. And then the dude asks again. And he works for Jake Paul's betting company. Yeah, okay. And um, he's like, I'm not here to talk about fucking contract. <laughs> That's a and good accent though. Yeah. Big John. Yeah. Big fucking John. <laughs> and then Logan Paul's in the background like... Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then Tommy comes out and says, we shook on it. Me and my family were fucking... We're a man of our word. It's obviously pride shit. Yeah. You know, a shake, a shake's as good as a, a fucking... A shake thing, as yeah. good as a contract. Yeah. And Jake's like, no, because yeah. like if I won, yeah, you wouldn't have given you me your money. Have given yeah, me that is true. That is very money. true. He would, he would be fucking fine to for that. And John apparently like posted heaps of tweets, but then he's deleted them since. Yeah, yeah. Because he must have got flack. Like that's that's shit to do. You can't do that. You can't. You can't. Yeah, you can't have both. Really. Yeah. See, I thought that shake was it. Like that was signed and it was done. No, yeah, they had but a contract. Sense they took the contract home, didn't sign it. Yeah. Um, but that, no, good fight though. Um, see, I. Oh, from what I saw, it just honestly looked like Tommy um, 
had full control. Yeah. Like, if it was UFC, like, he controlled the fight. Yeah, yeah. He had the control time. But I did say to, I think, Lucky, I said, if they fought the day after, I reckon it could have been a completely different fight. Because it looked like Jake was just stuck in the mud. Like, he didn't know... It's almost like he got a bit stage fright. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, Jake Paul's a bit more ferocious when he fights. I guess, he, again, he hasn't fought I think a quality. That's what I think it was. I think he was a bit scared, too, coming out there. It was like people we fought before, like Ben Askren and, like, Anderson Silver and shit like that. It's like, you know you're getting paid so much. Like, there's yeah. your paycheck. You're retiring anyway. There's no mm. point getting hurt. Just yeah. be cold. Be, be, you know, just take your shit. Get your pay. Like, but, dude, he went out there, like... Fucking Tommy was out there with blood. Like, yeah. That was a, that was like, it's a proper few of that one. It was yeah. good. It was a good fight. Like, well, Coop, it didn't seem staged. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which annoys me how people think all the fights are staged and stuff. I, Especially I think, Maz, bro. I think it's like, well, Maz also believes that if he, get, if he gets fucking the jab, he'll get autism or something. So, yeah. So, we don't, we can't. Yeah. But yeah, so Cooper watched the fight and I was at work and I was just messaging him. And he's like, yeah, I'm watching it. Like, it's a pretty good fight. It's back and forth. He's like, yeah, I think Tommy is winning like two to one at the yeah. moment. And then um, Cooper was like, oh, the, the, the downfall for it is they're both counterfighters. Yeah. And he's like, Jake's a big counterfighter. So he relies on them to overthrow so he can, he can throw. Yeah. Like, let them get close so he can throw. And Cooper was like, Jake Paul sort of is... On the attack because he like they're not doing anything if they if yeah, he's not that's on it. the and attack. And once he's already lost that first round, it's like he's yeah. got to make points back, mm. and he's just it's like playing into Tommy Fury. Yeah. So Cooper, and then you know, even like Logan Paul was like, "Yeah, bro, like you lost that." And like even Jake's like, oh, "I feel like it, it was a draw." And then Logan's like, mm. "Nah." He's like, "It like it could have been a draw, but he's like." You didn't win. You definitely didn't win. Yeah, yeah. You, I didn't see anyone that would give you that win, yeah. yeah. And you see Jake sort of like, it's almost like an eye twitch thing. He's like... Okay. He's like, I haven't rewatched the fight, but I, I, I do think yeah. it could have been a draw. Yeah, yeah. And like Logan's like, yeah, like oh, at maybe. Best. At best. Yeah, yeah. at best. Um, but I wanted to talk about another thing with boxing. It's the first ever time I've ever seen this. I don't know if it's done before. It was a tag team boxing fight. That's fucking sick. I've yes. never heard of that. So KSI has a um a boxing promotion called Misfits Boxing. Yeah, cool. And um it was these two two dudes versus two dudes and legit like they're just fucking boxing. The one thing I don't like about it is they have rounds. Yeah. And it's to me I'm like, well if it's a tag team you're, match Yeah, someone's already why would you have rounds? Once you're like, gas, you should just tag out. Yeah, yeah. This dude's pumping the other team, tags out. Pumps the other dude. He, he goes to tag out, and the dude's like, "No, like, <laughs> you go, I, bro. I need a break." He's, He's like, like, "I've just got beaten up," and then, and then the fucking bell rings, and I'm like, "Fucking hell!" Like if that was like the UFC, you just start pumping them. Yeah, legit. But um, it'd be hard doing tag in the UFC though, because unless you're fully stand up, as soon as you get on the ground, you couldn't tag. Yeah, no, you'd just be fucked. Like, yeah. But once you get up, you just It'd be run, like wrestling. Run. You're like trying to like Rey Mysterio is trying to like crawl for the ropes, like, trying to, like yeah, they're holding onto the little <laughs> string. Yeah, but yeah, fuck. Um, I thought that was pretty cool, but I would like it where maybe there's no rounds. It's like just something. Yeah, and just as you get gas, you swap out. Like make yeah. it more like. Um, so I was in this new promotion called um, Fight Circus. It's not that new. Rampage Jackson just signed to it. Oh, okay, yeah. It's a tie. He's still a fucking fight. He's just come back. They paid yeah. him. I think they're paying quite a lot. It's this tie like no holes barred. Have you seen that meme where that guy in the suits like punching two small dudes? Yeah. The, it's that. That's what's wrong. What the fuck? It's literally like no laws tie boxing, and it's like in a boxing ring, and it's called it's called um. I'll send you the video. For Is it, it like just novelty or it's, it's novelty shit? Okay. It's like how they used to do back in like the old UFC. There's like pride, but yeah. they have like a giant silver who's like seven foot four, fine like Ryu Hakazashi who's like five foot eight, and then Ryu like, just gets him in an ankle lock and it's yeah. over and around. Yeah. It's like shit like that. It's just ridiculous, and it's like they haven't done it in twenty years because it's been banned. Yeah, but it's so much fun to watch, man. And Rampage is there now, so Rampage is gonna be fine like three small time in. Dude, that's sick. and probably my cousin because he's flying in Thailand right now. So up your lucky, let's go. That's yeah. Shout out to you. Um, like and subscribe. Yeah, if you haven't, if you haven't watched this, because that's know pretty dope. It's in the family group chat. Yeah, yeah you're not proud of me. Um, speaking of first round finishes though, John Jones. Dude, I had so much money on him on rounds two to five. Oh, dude. See, fuck, bro. I had not... And also, I had like... It was like rounds two to five. 
paying five dollars like boom 50 bucks 50 bucks on him winning by ko on a promo the bro gets a fucking submission round yeah. one i'm like fucking hell i um i i didn't know what the, like how the outcome was i honestly thought it might have gone the full distance no like oh actually but i thought I mean, john jones yeah. would have dominated the fight like it yeah, won yeah without yeah. a doubt but Imagine paying for that event. Dude, I mean, and then also... um, What are they, like, $50, what, $60? Shrink, Sh- Shrevchenko, whatever her name is. Yeah. Got fucking submitted to. Yeah. But so that was, was like, a good fight, though. That was a good fight. It's funny. I watch all um these UFC events on uh TikTok Live. Dude, that's how I watched it yeah. as well. I, yeah. It's the first time I've actually watched it on, like... Your mum was on an Instagram... No, a Facebook viewing party. Yeah. And it was just on some, like, some betting chat about it. And yeah. I was like, oh, cool. I can just watch the whole event. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm, like, watching it. And I was watching the Shevchenko fight, and I was yeah. like, I was like, I was like, dude, Shevchenko is gonna lose. Yeah, that's what I was like. I was like, fuck, because I had her in a multi at first, only like ten bucks on it, and everything else hurt. But I was like, that just fucked it. And I was like, she was like the easiest leg as well. She but, was like the most guaranteed leg. But then the John Jones fight, when it came on, saw John Jones come in, and I was like, he's just, he just looks too, f- like he's, he's big, bro. What, no, like, um. What's the word? Like he's he just looked too nonchalant. Like he just yeah. looked like it was like this is just gonna be fucking easy. Yeah, he's was. like I'm being five years out. I'm gonna just smash. Beat my misses a few times in the off on the off season. But did you did you hear what um Cyril Garn's fucking coach said? He was like, yeah, like he doesn't train as hard as he should. Yeah, like he he should be training to be a world champ. But like he's just trained to like stay relevant. Well, he's just like he just trains to fight but he doesn't train like to do like big fight yeah he's yeah. like he needs to put in the work he needs to have that like attribute train for a, a championship like you know that be able to handle five rounds not like yeah three yeah i get that so cyril gun also his hands still kind of fucked yeah I I mean, so. that's i mean fuck dude did you see dc's reaction like dc and john jones have put the Shit the bed, yeah, which yeah. is good. Well, you have to when you're a commentator in that mm. you kind of have to be non-partial. But DC's face, like he's like he looks at John, um, Joe Rogan, and he goes, he goes like what, like what did he do, like what did he do? And then Joe Rogan's like, I think he got under the neck, like I don't know. And, yeah, yeah. And DC's like, did he get the arm? Like what, what did he get? Like and he's like, I don't know, but he taps really quickly it was like, it was like i think because he got him he did give him like a full yeah he got him under the neck yeah it, it was just like straight in because he did cap like straight away yeah he didn't give a fuck is it like, yeah i'm out like yeah but yeah fuck what was that like a minute 55 yeah, it was under three under yeah. two minutes yeah yeah it's like ridiculous like for also for a vacant title fight like yeah. fucking hell um the nrl so the nrl started last week dude Dolphins bandwagon, here we come. Dude, the Dolphins. Right. First week in the NRL. Dude, how, like, the first time ever possible that all four NR, uh, all four Queensland teams weren't playing, um, uh, like, against each other. And yeah, yeah. they all won, which yeah. is, like, really sick. Yeah. Um, I bet... No, I didn't bet. I tipped the Broncos to win. Nice. No one else did. Yeah. I was like, fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got to Saturday night. I got six out of six tips. Had the Roosters to beat the Dolphins. You're like, the Dolphins aren't going to win this. Had no the way. Tigers to beat the Titans. Yeah. Legit, on the Sunday. So, I got from Thursday to Saturday, six from six. Yeah. Sunday, zero from two. I was like, oh, sick. <laughs> Ruined my perfect round. <laughs> but <laughs> it is what it is. But fuck, dude. I'm so glad the NRL's back. Oh, dude. I'm, AFL starts this week as well. So, gambling yeah. is oh. on. Especially for you, I don't have money to spend at the moment. Oh, never do I really. But I gotta make some more money, you know, gambling. Um, That's how it works. Yeah, true. <laughs> I'm, gonna exp- I'm probably not gonna hit much. I got expensive fucking month coming. Out. I got two weddings and shit. Well, yeah, and yeah. two and bucks and parties you just on the off got weekends back from Bali too. Yeah, that actually wasn't that expensive. I think me and Lucy all together we spent like, um, fuck, like nine hundred dollars including accommodation. Mm. Yeah. Pretty okay. pretty cheap comparatively for a holiday. Yeah. Like the flights were like what the flights were expensive, I think. They're like five hundred bucks or something. But yeah, um do you want to get into your challenge? Well, so I got this Sorry. challenge. So um if anyone has been following on the socials, which if you haven't, go follow us we on We had to watch this and not watch the socials. Well, go follow us on TikTok, YouTube, Spotify, 
Apple, uh, Instagram, LinkedIn. Yeah, I mean, we have the link in our bio. Link tree. Yeah, we have our link tree. Patreon um, only we, fans. We never got the LinkedIn. <laughs> yeah. So I've started a ten dollars to ten thousand dollar challenge. So basically, what you do, start off with ten dollars. Um, you try to bet on something that's roughly two dollars. Last yep. week I got on something that was two dollars eighty five or something. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, so that was level one of the bet. If you weren't following along, um, you'll have to put in like twenty dollars this week. Yeah. Otherwise, you're doing a one ten dollars a fucking five thousand dollar challenge. Yeah. You don't have to bet along, but if you are. Let us know. Like, send a message because yeah. it would be cool to know. Like, if people Who's follow, jumping in? and then we'll get, we'll get abuse. Don't worry if they lose. Well, especially if I get to ten grand, yeah. and like I'm like, yes, boys, we did it, and and people are like, fuck, I should have got on that. That's like, do you remember that that website you showed me years ago? That tipping site that did yeah. it. Yeah, and they're like, we hit our ten to ten thousand dollar challenge. It's it was like, like right after I stopped using yeah, it. Yeah, like, I was like, and I keep getting emails going, that's sick. Remember when I went on and lost like a grand in two months because yep. they lost every bet I went on. Yep. Yeah, it was like they would be like, oh, it's like unders for the wizards, and you're like, hold on, <laughs> no, their last three games have gone over, yeah. same as the bucks. <laughs> I think it's going to go over and it's like, trust me, dude. Yeah. Or shit like, they'd be like, oh yeah, and you got to do a multi with the a dollar eleven roosters and then and then like the dollar thirty, um, what was it? Dollar thirty. Swans. Yeah. And then it's like, and also you power plants with dollar sixty and you put $10,000 on it. For a hundred dollar a unit punter, you put it 18 units and it loses like, oh, tuck, suck shit. Next week, then they'll dollar 40 bet and the dollar 40 bet wins and like, fuck you, we just won $4,000 for a hundred dollar punter. And you're like, well, that's sick. Should I give them this bet? And they're like, never mind. I'm paying 10 grand out to make $8. And they lose most of the time. And they never talk about it. <laughs> um, what's, it what's that called? We should call it out real quick. Um, sports NRL God? Yeah, Sporting God. Oh, yeah, Sport God. Sports so God. have you guys ever seen ads of Sporting God? They're fucking yeah, thieves. We, like, there was, a, there was a point in time where it was like, oh, sick. Like, I'm making some money. But then it was like... They had, yeah, those level bets, which yeah. again, like you guys don't have They're just to, 50-50s. If you guys want to get out on these bets, you don't have to do that. I'm just trying to do something that's reasonably safe. Like $2 is double your money. And it, how and many, nothing's yeah. guaranteed in betting. Yeah, legit. And like... Unless it's that, um, the 2019 grand final, me and Connor done a fucking glitch in the system. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, so Thursday night before the footy, I'm going to post on... Instagram, um, the level two bet. It's going to be NRL. Yeah. I, I might chuck an AFL one in there. Fuck it. I'm thinking about it. I might... Well, if you're going to do the level bets, I might do some cheeky multis because I had, I had really... Yeah. I made some really good money last year in the AFL. Yep. So I might do like a bigger multi at the same time we can both chuck it up. Yep. I'll just do AFL because NRL is not really my strong point. Yeah, well, I'll do NRL. I'm only going to really do head-to-head and... Um, be, uh, match lines because yeah. I don't really like to go overs and unders because... And try scores are really hard this early in the season. Yeah, unless you like, yeah, no, they are because Alex Johnston is like, he's going to be the most tries scored ever. Yeah, and like he's almost like a pick me every week, but he didn't score last. Yeah, he's week. only paid dollar for sixty five for a try. Yeah, um, no real heavy try scorers besides Soali and that mm. got a try this week. Um, so this is the announcement I have. I told you I've got an announcement at the end of the video. So suck shit. Jackson's it, leaving the podcast. Well, <laughs> yeah. Suck shit if you did not listen right to the end. Because if you didn't, you're not a true fan. No, nah, you're but not a lovely. But Connor doesn't even know this, but he will know of what I'm talking about. Um, we're going to be giving away a shirt. Um, I decided not to buy it the other day. Oh, yeah. So whoever wins, um, we, we, we need to do a challenge. Like... Oh yeah First message Well should we just have it as When this video comes out First place to have put the the word we say Put it in the comments Yeah okay That's the easiest way to do it No first person to inbox us yeah. on um, Instagram um, The word will be shambles Shambles Yeah so you're getting a phone call oh, yeah. Mum I'm fine Get back um, to you later mum Yeah mom. so the, f- the, the code word will be shambles Um and yeah message us on instagram and tell us how long your cock is or clit depending you don't have to do that that's an optional but um or what size shirt you are yeah message 
with your clit size. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds creepy when you say that one first. <laughs> no, okay. So the code word is shambles. And your age. <laughs> ASL Yeah, ASL, yeah Yeah, um, yeah this is getting this really is getting bad. weird and creepy yeah. Before we ever seen TikTok Okay The code word is shambles First person DM us on Instagram Instagram only Yeah um, Gets a free shirt Yeah, and you, we'll tell you you won You give us your size And we'll fucking send that bad boy out Yeah um, I'm going to get it sent to my house first Yeah Sniff it Probably yeah, we'll just see the quality because blow we'll a load on it, wash it for you. We'll sign it for you. Be like, oh, I don't really. That's a bit shit. Can you not sign it? <laughs> no, yeah. Um, so, how do we break this to? We, we want a quality check. The shirt. Yeah. So we want a tester. <laughs> we want. Yeah. So we want a quality check. The shirt and Connor already has three shirts. One he's given to his partner. Yeah. I have one shirt. So. We don't find it necessary for us to buy another, another, another shirt. Yeah. Because Jared's got one, I've got one, partner's got one, Jacko's got one. Yeah. So we're going to buy this shirt, which I think is the, the quality that yeah. we want. I'm going to get it to my house, test the quality. We're still going to give it to you because yeah. it's free. You get yeah. it. Yeah. It's early early merch. Um, yeah. If, if it's not good quality, like it's still early merch, you get, you can give us some feedback as well. Yeah, yeah. Take a five, you're wearing it or something cool. But yeah, so I'll get it sent to my house. I'll check the quality. If I think the quality is good, I will probably activate the shop. Yeah, and we'll be able to... Yeah, that's the thing because the last ones were a bit rough, eh? Yeah, they're just a bit too... Um, they're, not, they're not quality. Fair. They're like itchy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. this um, is called a not, not a blend. Yeah, so shambles, first person to DM us. And um, I'll announce the winner and then you just, I'll DM you and you can give me your size and ASL um, <laughs> and clit size. <laughs> um, yeah, no, <clears throat> but yeah. So shambles is the code word this week. Uh, and this is the only week that we're doing it because we're not giving away free shirts every week. Yeah, fuck that. They get very expensive. Um, but with that, that's going to conclude today's episode yeah much love um tell us if you like the new. if you like uh, yeah tell us if you like the new setup um but even if you don't tell us no but even <laughs> if you don't it doesn't matter yeah, we're not we don't have anywhere else to go <laughs> yeah there's nowhere for us to go yeah unless you want to do it unless you want to do it from your house we'll do it like the old, the old um what's it called in your house the old um the old what's wwe's WWS. Yeah, yeah 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 we'll film from your house you don't even know we'll be in, we'll be in there when you're sleeping all right well that's it um this has been another shitty episode by the Potty on the Rocks crew. Yeah. Have a good one, guys. Brush your teeth and time for bed. No, no. No one listens at night time, I don't think. <laughs>